Hi, chat. Hello. How are you? It's Tuesday. Are you all ready for this? Are you ready? May have been here too long. I mean, listen. One of us. One of us. Ladies and gentlemen, programs and users. Welcome. Hi. How are you? It's Tuesday. This is the arcade. This is where you come to find video games, Chad. How are you all doing? Waiting on coffee? How have you not... Sir, it is... 1.20 p.m. my time. How in the fuck do you not have coffee yet? How are you wandering around in life right now on this day uncaffeinated? That's chair, Ethernet splitter. Uh, what do you mean Ethernet splitter? You should never use an Ethernet splitter, sir. Those things don't work. Yeah, exactly, slider, right? Get a switch. Don't split copper, never get a splitter. Never, ever, ever split ethernet. Never. You get a switch. You get a powered switch. You get like uh, 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 a $10. You, you go to the, your local computer store. Switches are cheap, you can get them for like 10 bucks. And you get like a D-Link, one gigabit switch. Yeah, I know, right? Like, D-Link gives them away with soda, pretty much. That sounds about right. <laughs> Yo, Nick, how you doing? Sports fan, good to see you. Tuttle, Tuttle. When you say a splitter, you better mean a switch. You better by gum mean a goddamn switch. Don't you listen to me. I didn't realize it was in my cart when I bought it. Well, as soon as you get it, send it back. Valheim today, like that game yesterday. Uh, so the game yesterday, Nick, is Enshrouded. Enshrouded and Valheim have some similarities, but they are completely different. Completely different. There are similarities, but they are also very different. Uh, oh, god damn. Woo! I haven't played Valheim in about a year. You're missing a lot, Nick. Trust me. Uh, you know what? I, I, as much as I like some of Nakarada's stuff, that one's not. No. Okay, hold on. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find something else. I, I'm liking. Listen. I'm liking this Alexander Nakarada. His his stuff is good. But some of his stuff is also like, come on, man. Not feeling it. Emotionalism in melodic ages. 27 songs. You know what? Let's play this one. Ah, sure, why not? Ah, uh, no, maybe. It's always, I always have such a problem with, with music. Across the Obelisk, original soundtrack. No, let's uh, listen to this one. Okay, this works. This works. Yes, this works. I'm gonna get that to the library. Okay, that works. Found it. Um. I started the new World of Tanks event on, oh, World of Trucks. I, every time I see W-O-T, I think World of Tanks. W-O-T-R, World of Trucks. Good Lord, did the Earth move? What do you, wait, what? Give that burp. Wait, what? Give, no, I'm not giving the burp a chair, no. I have failed 15 captures in a row on GitHub. How did that happen? But yes, uh, sli or, or Toddle, you need what is called a switch. Not a splitter, a switch. You just want a gigabit, a four port gigabit switch. That's it. Will I be starting the new event? Nah, nah, nope. You have no interest in it. Oh God, no, 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 Tuttle. No, 
No, no, send it back, burn it with fire, whatever. Not fucking worth the money you spent on that. An RJ45 coupler? No, no, no. These things are not. No. <laughs> oh, hell no. Uh-uh. No. Hell no. Uh-uh. Nope. Couplers have flaws on both ends, like me. Yeah. No, yeah, no, 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 no. No, couplers, no. Never, never, ever, ever, ever use something like that. Phone line. Traditional hard, hard line phone lines, RJ11 and RJ45. Ethernet cannot be split like coax cable can. You can't use a splitter. You can't because you need you need a circuit in there to route traffic, internet traffic, and and, and a coupler ain't gonna yet. Well, and you can't. But the thing is though, is you can split coax. Coax, you don't. And the thing is though, is coax. If you're just using cable TV, you can split coax. You can split it up to like a hundred fucking times. It don't mean it's shit, right? Get me a mirror and uh, <laughs> and I got you. I got your bias, but you, you you know what I'm saying, right? Like with co traditional coax cable for cable TV, just for TV, not for anything else, just traditional coax, you can split that like a hundred times and there is minimal signal loss. Whereas with anything like copper phone line, fiber optic, ethernet, you cannot split that. If you're looking for a way to like split your internet connection, first of all, your your router, your your modem from your from your um, from your ISP should actually also be a router. It should have multiple ports in the back, multiple Ethernet ports. Barring that, if you're running into a room and you need to split off for other devices, get yourself what is called a network switch. Network switch. There you go. Best brand to go with D Link. It's not complicated, actually. It's super easy. I'll show you how easy this is. It's not even not even complicated. Super easy. Uh so it's I'll show you how easy this is. Okay. It's like 30 bucks, right? You have five ports on the back. You have five ports on the back, right? You run your cable into one of these and then you have four connections out. All right, Canadian Gamer, cheers. That's it. You don't, and it doesn't matter which one of these five ports. Traditionally, here's how I do it. The line in goes into port one, two, three, four, and five, then become ports out. So you take your ethernet in from your, where your modem is, where, and you run that ethernet into whatever room you need it into. And if you need to split it in that room, you throw one of these in. You plug your line in into one, and this little box then splits the connection. Now, the beautiful thing is this one is unmanaged. You don't need to know shit. So this gives you five gigabit ports. Oh, hold on, hold on. Why did it not? Oh, I clicked on it. Uh, apparently the streaming PC is being dumb today. There you go, right? So here, got one port, one, two, three, four, five, five ports. You plug your ethernet in the room that you're in in a line one, in a port one, that gives you four ports out for other devices. This does not, d this does not handle Wi-Fi. Does not handle wireless. Just hard line. Okay, very simple. Now I love how it says high speed gigabit ports allow you to connect up to five devices for fast, which is technically correct. The thing that they keep, they keep. Neglecting to mention 
is one of these ports in is it, one of these ports is used as a line in right higher speed one gig than other one gig yeah <laughs> right. but this also um gives you there is a certain back end qos that's built into this it's very it's super quiet doesn't use a whole lot of power but yeah 30 bucks right 30 bucks man and it's unmanaged so you don't have to do shit you don't have to do diddly squat don't have to do squat nothing here you go the dgs 105 is a plug and play networking switch that provides quick easy and economical way to add a high-speed networking to home offices and small to medium-sized businesses the DGS 105 gigabit switch offers D-Link's green technology to save energy and reduce heat, which in turn extends product life without sacrificing performance or functionality. The switch supports IEEE 802.3 AZ energy efficient Ethernet. Don't worry about that. You don't need to know that. It's just marketing shit. Which detects when a connected computer is shut down or when there is no Ethernet traffic, at which time the switch will automatically power down the idle port, saving a substantial amount of power. Really? Not a whole lot. Again, it's just marketing BS. The point is, never use what they call a splitter. Always use a switch. Always use a switch. Always, always, always. Oh, yeah. Anyway, is that a little more explanatory? Does that make a little more sense? Does that make more sense, chat? Wow, my camera is looking like ultra crisp right now. I don't know if that's my shirt's looking really weird. Okay, that's that's sometimes just it's keep it simple. It's just to keep it simple, right? So if you ever have questions, here's the thing: you're looking to set up a home network, and 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 you know that you need okay, you've got one line into a room, but you need multiple connections on that line. Say so, you run Ethernet from your modem. You run it into a separate, into a spare room, whatever. You're setting up a home office, gaming area, what have you. And you're like, okay, I have other devices and I want to set this up. How do I do it? All you need to do is just Google. How do I set up a home network? Boom. You'll get like tons of information. They'll keep it simple. It's all how you search things out, right? Anyway chat you know i'm kind of i'm kind of vibing with this chat are you ready we're not gonna waste too much time here we're gonna jump right in and i don't know if you guys are ready for this um so i started building something last week after after we were done valheim on thursday because i know i need to do this because if i don't well it's gonna be a bit of a problem ATS and a few others that I'm um, listen. Remember, Tuttle, start small, keep it simple. <laughs> keep it simple, sir. Keep it simple. It's all you gotta remember. Just keep it simple, sir. Don't overextend yourself. That 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 is that is the that is the way to look at it. Do not, and I repeat, do not overextend yourself. I almost added in a sound mod for this, by the way. Uh, and that sound mod would have been specifically for uh, to swap out some of the sounds for Skyrim sounds. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I don't need to do that. Fuck it. You're looking at Ready or Not, looks fun. Um, if you want to know about Ready or Not or Squad Talk to Growing Pain or Icy and SD, they both have time in that. They've both tried to get me into either of them and they're because that's not my style of game. It's like, hey, there, there are a lot of games I enjoy, but not one of those. Um, by the way, uh, we made a change, okay? I'm gonna try something different here. Uh, and 
hopefully you guys are down with this. So that's that is the new that is the new goal, right? Um, and as you can see, we've got a bar up there. Okay, so uh, you're not down with this? Wait, you don't want to? You don't want an arcade after night? I mean, listen. Okay, so as you can see, got a new spot. I love that. You feel very cold. So essentially what's going to end up happening is... Wait a minute. Something else has got to happen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where? There we go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh boy. So. We, we, uh, as you can see, we started, started building a new, a new building, right? Um, I did this because it was, it was necessary. Uh, the uh, the main building with the with the beds in it and everything was just getting a little it was getting too I've got to actually do something about that that's I'm not done so this is fully enclosed um, as you can see we have not added any kind of like comfort creature comforts or or lighting or anything yet yet. Uh, no, 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 Trust me. Trust me. If you're buying a chair, do not buy cheap. Do not cheap out on your chair. That is your back, your knees, your legs, your hips, your shoulders, and your neck. Do not, and I repeat, do not cheap on the chair. Do not cheap on the chair. Spent, if there is one thing you should be willing to spend money on, it is the chair. This chair here that I've had for six years now cost me over five hundred dollars. Do not cheap on a chair. Don't go for a hundred dollar or two hundred dollar freaking IKEA chair or gaming chair. Do not. If you're looking at a chair and the price tag isn't at least five hundred dollars, don't. Do not spend money on it. The chair should cost money because it is one of those. It is one of those items that you are quite literally getting what you pay for. Well, yeah, didn't you? You got one of the Corsair T1 racing chairs, didn't you, Audi? But I'm, I'm like the the, the parody between. Um, at least I'm almost certain you did, right? All right, uh, we need to do this. And we're going to do this for this. Decor. Um, I don't have flint or... Fuck. God damn. Okay, 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 fine, fine. I get it, I get it. Never cheap on... Yeah. I did, but I replaced it about a year ago. Fair enough. Wait, what? There is wood right here, sir. What do you mean I am out of wood? It should be... Right. Forgot. The fire will draw from... Mm, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, God damn, I've got a lot of that. All right. Uh, You know what? We're just... Uh, actually, no. Screw that. Cancel. Right, um, let's keep this fire stoked for the time being. Yee. Yee, all right. Doodle doo do 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 Uh, so a couple of things that we've got 
we've got to do. Uh, I'm going to get all of this all kind of sorted here because we kind of need to. Um, why do I have more deer stew? It doesn't seem right. Throw that and that and that in there. And that. Okay. Born. Not running out of food anytime soon. Um. Hey, beauty. Yeah, like that's the thing with uh, with my chair. I if I want to, like I can. And it's actually comfortable on my lower back when I do that, right? I did some 305 sprint races at Knoxville last night. Love the dirt oval racing. Ooh! But yeah, no. Yeah, cheaping out on a chair, bad idea. All right, um... So as you guys can see, I already have... I already have it built. So the new building is built. I just haven't done anything uh, inside. Apparently, uh, my construction hammer and everything is not... Unless... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let's... Let's see if maybe... Let's see if maybe... Hold on. No, the crate is... Okay, the crate is too far. That's what I was afraid of. All right. Fine. You're going to be a pain in my ass about it. I got it. I got it. All right. All right. Fine. Whatever. All right. So front door, back door. Building is a little bit larger. Um, time to get some stuff moved here. Uh, we're going to take all of that. Okay. And then dad's going to do that. And that. And this. And all of this. All of the things. Right. Okay. <laughs> shit. Well, now that I've just... You know, it'd be nice if I could just... It would be really nice in this game. If you could just relocate, like, move items. That would be fantastic. Just move stuff around, right? Alright, so let's start with the two beds. Too far! Okay, there we go. Uh, should be... Yeah, alright, we're good. Okay. That in there. And that right there. Okay. Um, shit. Nope, that's not it. Where is it? Here, right. There we go. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. What else do we have here? Um, okay, so now I need this. So I can do. Excuse me, sir. Um, there, there it is. Okay. 
And I think... No, that is not it. Um... Mm. That would be it. Okay. Looks about right. Yar, that does look right. Okay. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Look at it, chat. It's beautiful. Dirt is fun when people behave. Well, yeah, I guess when people. I like how you put it when people behave. You know what? I'm not feeling this one. We're. Yep. Moving on to the next song. William Tells Overture is not doing it for me, chat. Um. Okay, so. Yeah. What else do I. Right, it looks like that takes care of that for the time being. Right. All right, so that takes care of being upstairs. Now. Crafting. I need one Sertling Core and 10 fine wood. All right. So let's grab the ten fine wood. Cause we need we need the enchanting table. Yes, dad needs an enchanting table. Don't judge me, okay? Or try not to anyway. Uh what? Oh right, I know what okay, never mind, never mind. I know what that's from. Never mind. I know okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, chat. I know I know what's going on here now. Right. Okay, we need just one of you. Just one of you. Okay. We only need one of you. There we go. Gonna do that NG service? The uh, series? Wait, what? NG? Next gen. All right. Okay, there we go. Upgrade. Sacrifice. I need one Sertling Core and a Skeleton Trophy to unlock Sacrifice. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Beautiful. Okay, we're getting started. We're finally getting started here. Um, yeah, that, that, that. And the torch. Beautiful. All right. Uh, before we get too much further into this, let's go with the decor. Right. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We're going to... And last but not least, ugh. God damn it. All right, there we go. Boom, done. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at it. It's Hi Zool, how are you? Um so this this is the new place. <laughs> I just moved all your stuff into the chest up top. So when you when you sign in next time, unfortunately, you're probably going to end up coming in at the spawn point down the road again. <laughs> and now we're going to now it's time to play our favorite game, upgrade. Upgrade the things. Um, let's do this. We're gonna take two those certainly cores. 
And you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna take four of those. Let's see what we can do with this. So yeah, Thursday when you come in, uh, it might spawn you here, but you might spawn down the road again. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. All right, uh, we're gonna upgrade. I have... Yes, I have... Upgrade sacrifice. Oh, okay. Uh, I actually don't do, need to. Okay, fine. Nope, that's that's fine. Don't need. No, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I got to figure it out now. <laughs> like shit. Convert materials. Uh, what can we do to bone? Okay, enchant. Oh, I need magic dust for that. Certling core and copper. Augment. Spend enchanting materials to re-roll individual magic effects on magic gear. When upgraded, gain additional choices when augmenting and have a reduced cost for multiple augments. Ooh. Disenchant. I need iron bounty tokens? Oh my god. Alright, alright. So, this is good. Because this is what I needed to do. Hear me out. This is what we've got to do. All right, so we're going to throw the startling core and uh, actually, you know what? We're going to throw that in there, S sir, Shit. that in there and that in there. Okay. All right. And then swap that back in and that back in, remove these two, the F out of the way. One moment, please. We're going to move the key out of the way. Now, watch. Watch and behold. Um. Okay, we've got... Hell Shroud, Order, order Mantle. Okay, so the just basic magic stuff. Yeah. I'm going to take that. Durability plus 90%. Yay. Ooh. Okay, we're just going to hang on to that one for a minute. Okay. Um, cruel Bulwark. Magico. Strikers. Hammer of the Gladiator. We're going to keep that too. Um, frigid Stone Axe of Throwing. Taking that. Magic Flint Knife. Going to take care of that. Magic Tower Shield. Going to. Yep. Magic Rag Tunic, Magic Bronze Pickaxe, and Magic Ho. I'll keep that for now. Um, the Add Slash, Attack Speed plus 20, um, Physical Damage, Imbue Fire, gonna keep that. Uh, we'll keep the Tunic of Reflecting for the time being. Effectively, what's going to happen here, if you Fiend Ward. Holy crap, I've got so much stuff. Good lord. So much stuff. I didn't realize we I'd been collecting so much stuff. <laughs> this is beyond redonkulous at this point. Oh my holy shnikes. Alright. Uh well at least we get to start breaking some shit down. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous at this point. All right. Um, we're, we're, yeah, we're just gonna go with the sacrifice. All right. We're gonna do that. That, that. Sacrifice it. Ah, uh, we, I, I, I finally, I unlocked it. I, I just built it. Just built the enchanting table. <laughs> Just built it. Um, speaking of which, if I need to, what do I need for that? I need iron. Oh, I need iron for that. All right. Um, dad needs wood. 
chat. Dad needs wood. Right, so something I'm actually discovering right this moment. Hear me out. We're gonna do this. I need a crafting table. And in order to do that, I need... You know what? Let's just grab some of that. There we go. Okay, now what I should be able to do Fucking what? <laughs> this makes no sense to me. Alright, you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we're just gonna throw that there for now. So I can stick all of these goodies in there. So Okay, that makes no effing sense. You're sore? Oh. Sorry about your luck there, uh, Nutslime. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, sir. Man, it's like, holy hell, I'm sore. I'm like, why are you sore? Did you go to the gym? Did you actually get a decent workout, sir? Did you? Did you? If you didn't, well, then I don't know why you're sore. Tough bananas. All right? Tough fucking bananas. That's all I'm... That's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay? Wow. Look at the bright side. It is not rugby sore. I mean... Yeah, no, just sinuses. It's like, my, my sinuses are hurting. It's the whole, uh, hey, the weather's nice. Uh, I'm gonna make you sneeze and you're gonna like it. <laughs> kind of deal. Your body telling me to get aft. Right, so still not. Developer activates force for 100. Oh god damn it! Oh get no! Stay out of my. Where are the other boars? Where are the other ones? Where are they? Where where? Oh no, <laughs> I bet I know where- Oh, there's one of them. Is that? Yep, it's a two star. Woo, let's go. All right, there, there, there is shenanigans out here. <laughs> the boars are loose. Uh, well, the totem is, no, there is no ward in that, in that specific building yet. Not yet. Holy shit! Jesus! Don't sneak up on a man like that! Fuck! God damn! Yeah, he snuck up on me. It didn't work out in his favor. I'm out here looting his handiwork, though. I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that he was out here killing things for me. I am okay with this. This man's... Alright, so, um, I did some exploration before I started this building, by the way, chat. Alright, so, there... God. God damn it. Get wrecked. Excuse me. No, you get away from my stairs. Get away from my porch. 
Um, so I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh no, they- nope, nope, they did- definitely did- okay, they didn't spawn in under the ground, they didn't spawn under the building. Alright, that's good. Thank God for small miracles. Watch, they spawned in here, didn't they? Nope, alright, we're good. Woo! Woo! How's our- how's our dude doing over here? How you doing? How's your food doing? Oh, you got plenty of food yet. Look at you. You're happy? Alright, good. Who this? Who this? Hello? Uh, you're just a traitor. Never mind. Don't care about you. I'm salty? Explain to me. Explain. Not, not slave. Explain to dad how dad's salty. Ex explain to dad. Explain to dad how dad is salty. Here we go! We're getting the loot drops already. Oh, that's a two star. Nailed it. I'm not salty yet. <laughs> that could change though. That 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 is subject to change. Okay, there's food there. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, you're just... Oh. Damn it. Get back here. I got time for your shit. <laughs> Freaking damn it. Um, alright. So there's the food. Where's the dude? Excuse me. I, I know I put the food down here. Where Where's the dude? Where is the, uh, the Viking that was down here? Where's Demands? That's a traitor, so that doesn't mean diddly squat. Hmm. <sighs> Chat. We, we're... Listen. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K, Chat. <laughs> I don't really have an explanation. Salty might not be the right name. You seem a tad more aggressive. I'm aggressive to the NPCs currently, yes. But only to the game. Now, um, I'm just gonna make no- I'm just gonna let all of you know now. Tomorrow there is gonna be a game change. We are not gonna be jumping into Enshrouded. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be taking a look, a look at the demo. Uh, because it is currently uh, Steam's next fest, we're going to be taking a look at the demo for um, Soul Mask. Uh, the the nice thing about Soul Mask is again, it is a survival game, fairly real, uh, fairly realistic in the survival aspect and the building aspect, but it has a very interesting sort of twist to it. And I'm not going to let that out, but we're going to take a look at that tomorrow. Um, just. You know what? It was one of those that came across my radar. I was like, you know what? I have an opportunity to check out 40 hours worth of gameplay because of Next Fest. Oh, they have the Star Truckers demo out? Might have to check that out, too. Might have to check that out. Right. Uh, that's not where I wanted. That build. So this building here is going to get turned into another workshop. Um, I think this. So this this building here, I think, is going to get turned into more like the forge, the forge area. Um, this is gonna be like, you know, just the workbench and, and, uh, you know, cooking. Sort of like, uh, I guess you could say a, kind of like a, a common area, like a kitchen. Alright, so here's, okay, so that's the magic hammer, we're, we're gonna get rid of that, that's fine. Um, has anyone here actually checked out the Star Truckers demo yet? And if so, uh, what are your personal thoughts on it? If you have checked it out. Uh, we'll throw that in there too. Okay. And that and that. Okay. Okay. There's all of that. And magic hammer, sacrifice to the gods, let's go. All right. 
Now we're getting some enchanting stuff material up already. I love that it stacks in 100. Um, all right, so if I want to convert materials, upgrade enchanting materials to higher rarity, convert shards to enchanting materials for equal rarity, and salvage other materials from junk. When upgraded, improve the item ratio when upgrading ruined stones or other crafting materials. All right, so I need 20 wood, four bone, and 10 resin to unlock that. Enchant. Magic dust. Certling core. How much magic dust do we currently have? We have nine. Why is this not pulling? Oh, because I haven't actually unlocked it yet. At least. Okay, something is a miss here. I have a sneaking suspicion there might be a mod that needs updating. Which is fine, but still, it is rather worrisome. Okay. Um, while we're here, before we get going, before we get going, chat, let us, okay, um, Excuse me. Let's get sir. <laughs> Fucking sir. Sir. God. Oh, God damn it. Sometimes. There we go. Sometimes the game decides to be a little bit of a bitch, as you can see. All right, there's the turnips. Let's do onions. I have 21 onion seeds. All right. I love it says needs cultivated soil, yet the soil there is cultivated. I'm like, yo. God damn, this gets fussy. So it really does kind of get fussy here. Oh, shit. Oh, no, you don't. Get off my balls. How dare you jump up on me when I'm trying to play farmer in the fucking Dell. <laughs> PC work in the band. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly what just happened there, too. It's like a freaking... It was like a freaking god tier ban hammer, bastard. It's like you son of a bitch. All right, we're gonna do some seed turnips. That way I can get some more seed because I need to be uh, able to regrow. Holy shit, this is getting fussy. God damn. And we'll do some seed onions. Wow, okay, I see how I see how it's doing it now. 
It is being real fussy about it, too. Activates earthquake roots oh, for 1,000 bits. No! <laughs> Get sleepy. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. Satan's roots all... This is Satan's roots all over again. I am moving them away. You're, you're not... Nope. You know, it'd be nice if... Oh. Ow! Bad roots. Bad roots. Ow! Bad roots. Oh, God damn it. Ow! Bad roots. No! The fucking Grayling came in too. Ow! 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 Satan. No. Bad. Bad roots. Bad roots, Sleepy. Bad. No, you and your roots. Bad roots. Bad roots. This is horticulture gone bad. Holy crap. Sir. Ow. My face. <laughs> I know what the... No, that... Hi, Thounder. That... Listen, Sleepy, that is not going to help my crops. Okay? That... How, how how do you how on earth do you think that is gonna help the crops? Huh? How? How? You explain to me. Explain to me how that's helping. That is not helping my crops, sir. Not. Uh see turnip. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I've got onions, we've got so we've got turnip and onions, and I've got seed growing again, so we're good there. Aerate the soil, duh. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen here, smart ass. We're just aerating the soil, duh. <laughs> Christ. You know, we have some very happy bees right now. We have a ridiculous amount of honey on the go. It is absurd the level of honey we have. We're just gonna aerate the soil. Keep the pests out. You're calling me. Listen, okay? I, I don't think you understand. I don't think you get it. I really don't. Keep the pests out, he says. No. No. I gotta get in here, fix my shit. Because you know. Sleepy's like, hey! <laughs> I see what you did there, Sleepy. I see what you did there. Okay. Right. Um. So, the goal for today. I did some exploration. We need to head over here. I found one solitary crypt. One single crypt. This is the only spot where there's a crypt here. I need that black iron. I need that iron. So that's where we're heading today. And you can see where we are. Right here. And I've got to go all the way down here. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be an easy... It's not going to be an easy task. But this is also going to be a task that is 100% going to require... Uh, using the boat. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that there. Just hear me out. Right. Oh god. Okay, that actually worked. Holy crap. Alright, one. Right? Get all the material. Just because I'm not carrying all the material over here right now, so... Okay. 
So we now have two fermenters right there. And now, see if we can start making some goodies here. All right, so a couple of extra things that we can now make uh, because I was finally able to craft this, the spice rack. So we've got the cauldron upgraded. Uh, we can now do sausage. Sausage is definitely a good way to go. Uh, takes a bunch of boar meat, as you can see, entrails, boar meat, and thistle. So we're gonna we're gonna do some of this up. And it does four per, right? So it's it's fantastic. Oh come on, sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Shaking nutrients loose and... Listen, sir. Listen. Alright, so what do we get? Uh, we have 55 health and 18 stam from the sausage. The muck shape, we've got turnip stew. Uh, I'm not really going to do the turnip stew right now. Uh, but... I think what we need to definitely do is look at, uh, we're gonna do one of these, right? So medium healing. And we're gonna do one of these, right? Uh, the chest of the food that is already created, we're gonna split that stack, we're gonna throw that in there, done. All right, I ha listen. I heard a boar over here. Where in the hell's the boar? Where's the boar? I heard it. You better not be fucking with my food, otherwise I'm gonna be very upset with you. Start messing with my garden, man. Shit's gonna go sideways real fast. Okay, mead healing, mead stamina. All right, so that is currently fermenting. Beautiful. Let the fermentation begin! Ooh, there's a pure later courier truck. I don't know who ordered what. Okay, there we go. In your dream used to be beside a fire in a great hall, surrounded by the chatter of familiar voices. Their faces blur like smoke and their names slip your mind. And we are now rested. I think Sleepy really, or Sleepy seems to really enjoy making dad vomit. Okay, so that's still fermenting. It's good. We're going to need that. Drop that food in there. We are going to nom on that, nom on that, and nom on that. 50-50-50. All right, so health seems to be climbing. There we go. Damn, that is a spike in the health. Woo! Sleepy developer activates thunderstorm oh, for 125 bits. Sleepy, <laughs> I, I would like, sir, I, I would like to sail. We have uncharted shores to check. Well, there, it's not that they're uncharted, actually, they're charted shores, but unfortunately, uh, how many, got a lot of seats. All right, we're, we're good. <laughs> God damn it. Woo! What did you kill? How you do- Oh, you took a bit of a shit kicking, didn't you? What did he kill? What did he kill? What did he kill? What did we get? Alright, what, what did this man's kill? Defender shield, wood shield of grace. 18 block, no movement speed penalty. Not bad. We're still going to break that one down, though. Right, so we're going to sacrifice that. That's fine. You know what? That That is absolutely fine. Give me all the... There you go. Give me all the stuff. I'm going to throw that in there because we need the reagents.
You know what, for the time being, I'm just gonna throw this in there so I don't have to worry about dragging it around with me. All right, well. Looks like we are absolutely borked. Sleepy developer has spoken. The weather is absolute shite. It's rubbish. Look at this, the weather is absolutely rubbish. Uh, damn. Holy, okay, hold on. Carb storage is empty. All right, we're, we're good. <laughs> we're shit. Um, right. This is, this is gonna, <laughs> god damn it. Well, um. Sleepy, sleepy developer, in his infinite wisdom, has determined that we shall not be. S <laughs> we're rowing today. Today is we're today is rowing day. We're we're not. We're not making haste. We shall not make haste. But I'm gonna cut around. Ooh, I. You know what? No, nope, nope, nope. Oh, thank God. Oh, sweet Jesus, let's go. Yay! Can't skip I <laughs> can't skip arm day. No, you don't never skip leg day, sir. Not arm day, never skip leg day, chat. It's leg day you don't skip. Nobody ever skips arm day. You don't see a guy with like freaking tree trunk legs and a tiny freaking upper body. They all look like gorillas. They got the tiny little skinny ass legs and the huh, you know, big bulky upper body. <laughs> if anybody skips anything, they always skip leg day. Always, it's always leg day, chat. Absolutely can confirm, always leg day. Anyway, uh, so the object here is to hit this crypt. Need to hit the crypt. Um, if we're, okay, hold on. I wanna. No, no, no. I need miscellaneous. What do I need for. Oh, shh. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. I have the material to build it. I just. It was one of those I realized uh, I could have just because I have a portal set up at a forward base. Um, I didn't set up a portal back there, but the problem is I cannot bring material through the portal. I can't bring iron ore through the portal. I can't bring ore of any kind through the portal. So I would have to sail this anyways. It wouldn't be optional. I'd still have to sail. So here we are. Uh, looks, you know what? Like it looks like it's gonna be a, a decent day out on the water. If we happen to come across a Leviathan though, I am stopping uh, because I need the chitin so I can build the freaking uh, the harpoon, the abyssal harpoon. So you can bring tools, weapons to, but not ore. Yeah, can't bring raw ore. I can bring other crap. Alright, chat, refresh, refresh, refresh. Hi. I'll wait. <laughs> I'm like, I'm awake. A 
Let me know when you're all back, chat. So, uh, what if I don't come back? Then what? I mean, you don't come back? Okay. <laughs> I love that. What if I don't come back? Meanwhile, the man's is here. Uh, the... Wow, you sneaky ass rock. Wow, I just absolutely got bonked. But, funny enough, didn't take any damage. I love that. What if I don't come back, then what? Then you don't come back. It's that simple. You gotta refresh F5 chat, F5. Twitch did a thing, I don't know what they did, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, the ingest server was like, nope, 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 nope. By the way, this is where, um, two weeks ago, uh, one sleepy developer had decided that maybe while Zool and I were sailing back for home base, he would drop a like log again on us. And as you can see, um. Oh, okay, no, that song is supposed to make that. Okay. Could happen again. <laughs> Shit. Of course it could. Oh, somebody took this man. Uh, oh, that's actually dope. So, we got all this wood just floating in <laughs> I love it. Look at all the wood just floating around out here. So much wood. So much wood floating out there. So, thanks, Twitch, by the way. Thanks for dumping out my stream. I appreciate the hell out of you, you bastards. Well, now that we are, uh, so appropriately, itchy button, <laughs> itchy button finger intensifies. He's like, I'm, you, I already know you're waiting. You've already destroyed one of my boats. With a barrage of meteor shower. <laughs> you damaged the shit out of this one. <laughs> it's had to have been repaired because of your uh, your penchant for log again. You really love that log again, don't you? Mans loves his log again, especially in tight quarters where I can't get out. Mans loves that log again. Not that I can really blame you, sir. I really can't. It is kind of dope. Right ho, let's go. Welcome, you're just joining us. Welcome, I'm your host, Scott. This is the Arcade. Happy Tuesday. It's Valheim Day. Doing it now is far too predictable. <laughs> Aha, I'm on to you, fucker. It's like, God damn it. Uh, okay, downside to the outriggers. The outriggers sometimes catch rocks that before the regular car would not catch, and it just instantly just like, boink! Just boinks you. It just boinks you, chat. Just absolutely boinks you. All the time. 
all the time with the boinking. I mean, there's a man over there running around on that island all by himself. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. Oh, no, me jump running around in circles over there. Oh, he got that big band hammer. Oh, he can keep the band hammer over there, too. Fuck that. Right, so... Here we go. Time to pour on a wee little bit of speed. So I can avoid an encounter with something I'm not prepared for, and that encounter is the Sea Serpent. We're gonna try to, uh, nope, nope, wrong button, there we go, okay. That man has a flaming sword. I see you over there, you fucker. Oh, no. Ooh, this is... Seriously? The wind changed? You son of a bitch. Of course? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Yep. Serpent's like, yo, hi. Remember me? No, you can stay over there, bud. I want nothing to do with you right now. No. No. Bad serpent. You fuck off, Jeff. Jeffrey, you stay right there. Well, well, what? Uh, so chat. We're 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 trying something different. We're gonna try something different, by the way. That's what we're doing different. We're looking forward to shaking some things up a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So every time somebody gives 20 subscriptions or you drop a $100 tip, I will schedule a special Arcade After Dark stream. Well, sorry, Tuttle, but uh, the serpent's name is also Jeff, and Jeff is an asshole. And Jeffrey... Sir Jeffrey of Orangington is not allowed anywhere near my goddamn boat. Okay. And if your name is Jeff and you take offense to the fact that the serpent was named Jeff. And by the way, that name, actually, you can thank my youngest daughter, Jay Dressed in Blue, for that. Dad, my name isn't Jeff, it's Dakota. Yeah, well, <laughs> tough. It's Jeff now. There are a lot of these pissed off Vikings out here. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Hello. Hello there. Hello there. So, I've been looking at the volume on my stream, and I was wondering, why is it so unbelievably redonkulous? And then I just noticed that the last OBS update changed my actual settings. Let's try that for a little bit. Wow, that is, even that's a little, what the fuck is happening here? I might have to EQ the shit out of this, by the way. Every time OBS updates, it changes, ah, uh, not always. This is the first time in four years that OBS, uh, an OBS update has changed my settings. It's very, very odd. That's fine. I have a sneaking suspicion some of it might... I gotta check NVIDIA Broadcast as well. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually start foregoing using NV Broadcast. Streamers, oh, thank God I got OBS working again. OBS, bonjour, changes rain to bullshit. <laughs> bonjour. 
ça va? <laughs> ah, here we go. Anyway. I mean, I see you, but you can't touch me, so can't touch this. Do, 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 do. I don't think we're gonna be making it. You know, it's a good thing that this boat. So we're gonna head over here to this forward base area. Cause I actually have a zone that I can like, I can literally pull the boat into and we can get in there. What about Yeti? I'm North and South Dakota. It's strange to... What do you mean Yeti? There's no Yeti here. Yeti spaghetti? What the, what, what's the deal? What's the, Yeti spaghetti? Oh look, hey look, it's Chewy. <laughs> Leave them out in deep water. Let the, yeah, the problem is they don't get eaten by Jeff. Apparently they're immune to it. I'm not, but they are. Other things in the game aren't, but the fucking renegade Vikings totally are, 100% can confirm. They're immune to the bullshit. I don't get it, doesn't seem right, but here we are. You know, this wind could change at any point in time. That'd be great. Yeah, it would be fantastic. Just a slight little course correction here. There we go. All right, one moment. Aha, there we go. That's right, Jeff is Jeff. Hey, did anybody actually f stop to think that? Oh, you for oh, sweet bits. Jesus! Oh, come on, no! Sir! Bail! Oh no, bail, bail, bail! Oh, it's stuck on the boat. No! My boat! Ow! My body! Oh, sweet Jesus! <laughs> I'm fucking sleepy. <laughs> yeah, not fast enough. Holy shit! My body! Well, uh, there goes our boat. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. <laughs> one hit wonder. <laughs> My poor boat. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I can't even be mad about that. <laughs> I can't even be mad about it. <laughs> Oh, we're, okay, that's where my boat went down. All right, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. I need to allow my stamina to recharge so I can swim in here and try to retrieve some shit. Wow, it really, okay, so stamina does recharge, but really slowly when you're out here. Sniping with meteors is for fun and profit. Yeah, so uh, it is, again, it's a mod called Vikings Can Swim. It is off that list. Uh, it is off the Gothic Valhalla mod list. It's called Vikings Can Swim. 
If you ever have any questions about any of the mods I use, they are off that list and that list alone. Remember, if you're playing on a server, if you're playing on a server, the server has to have it enabled, otherwise it won't work. Crap, did my mast ever end up out there? Wow. Okay, I need <laughs> my body. Um, I'm kind of stuck in the water at the moment. Enabled here in the mod itself, like Valheim Plus. So here's the thing is in order to use the mod, the client has to have the mod and the server has to have the mod. Otherwise, the the a lot of the mods that I use, it, it has to be both client and server side. If it is not on both, if you do not have the mod and the server does, you will get kicked. Some of these mods you cannot change. You cannot change the configuration. Like how far out I have to go to to get to that. Oh my god, we ooh, we're almost. Ooh. I got to be very careful. We got puffer fish out here. Those puffer fish can render me unconscious in the water, and that is not a good thing. <laughs> These things are not fun. All right, uh, my stamina is recharging so slow. No, Jeff is not coming to help. Negative. Jeff cannot, I don't need Jeff's help, all right? Jeff can fuck off. There's a reason I have it set that you guys can't spawn in. Oh, thank God. All right. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're not going to die. There we go. I am if I don't stop swimming for a minute here. I just want to get away from the puffer fish that could potentially end my existence. I love that. You are wet. No kidding. Okay, well, at least my swim skill's improving. This is not how I wanted to improve my swimming skill. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, Sleepy's throwing down the points with the stretch. Chat, if you're wondering what happened, Sleepy broke my boat, and I had to swim out to get the components and all the stuff for it. Yeah. Thanks, Sleepy. Because now I can't put my boat back together until I get back to a freaking where the boat yard is, you bastard. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you are still alive, though. That depends on your definition of alive at this point, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> uh. I don't really 
really sure what's underwater over here, but there's something. Probably stone. Which wouldn't really be a terrible thing. Oh god damn! Ow! Ow! My body! How dare you! How dare you touch me with those hands! How dare you put hands on me, you son of a bitch! No means no! No touching the booty! Access has been denied. Okay. All right, here we go. So again, the, this mod is called Vikings Can Swim. Sleepy developer activates move time forward for 200 bits. Woo! Woo! Okay, I'll take that. Thank you, Sleepy. Holy shit. I can see. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Nope, rain just started again. God damn it. All right, we can see. Wait, what the hell? Ooh, my roommate is not gonna be happy. <laughs> my roommate is gonna be very upset when he gets home. All right. Give me that. I need some wood. Dad needs wood, Chad. Chad, dad needs some wood. There we go, need that stump. Let's get old stumpy out of the way here. No, I mean, there we go. Yeah. More stumpy. Let's get the stump out of the way, too. Oh, my God. My stamina regen is terrible. All right. Right. So, um... I don't have the boat yard. I got all my stuff. I don't have the boat yard. Well, yep, yeah, I love that. Missing requirement. Well, how do I build the boat yard then? Shit. Fuck. God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Shit. All right, well, uh, all right, so it's shield and, well, you know, the thing is, I at least have the boat, so we're going to throw that and all of that, and I don't care about that, and we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to get rid of the freaking dwarf eyes, because screw all of that, we're going to get rid of that. All right, here we go. Well, uh, now that we're on foot, <laughs> shit. Not exactly. Uh, that must had to have been for meteor shower. All the stuff that's up here that's just glittering. Just remember, Chad, all that glitters is not gold. All right, uh, let's get up here. Where are we? Hmm. Get wrecked. 
Me and my bronze freaking magic spear, you bitch. All right, and I pray the I do not run into any trolls. Because we are in their territory. We're on troll turf at this moment. We're on their turf. Their turf, chat. That's right, we're on the trolls turf, okay? So I gotta be cautious. Don't want to be tracked and no unwanted attention from these sons of bitches. Where in the... How in the actual fuck are you aggroed to me? Sir. Oh, uh, you know what? Freaking bone bag. Or what is in here? Oh, shit. Well, that, that, oh, mistakes were made. <laughs> God damn it. Woo! Run out! Run away! Freaking bees. Well, that explains why the skeletons weren't hiding out in the stone freaking building, cuz... They're like, yeah, they, the, the skeletons, even the undead, noped the F out from the power of the bees. There's nothing else in here. Alright, that's fine. He ran to the forest, the meteors, yeah, meteors kind of followed. I mean, it's true. They did. It's true. All right, I'm making for the forward base. Dad is making for forward base. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm picking thistle, it's because it's needed for, uh, well, if I want to make more sausage. That's right, you heard me. Dad needs to make more sausage. If I want to make more sausage, I need the damn thistle, okay? I feel as though I should be able to actually grow thistle, but... Oh, shit! Oh, that is a troll! Oh! Nope! Fuck! <laughs> Romborst! This is why dad needs the stamina potions. Oh shit. Ow! My body. This mother trucker clears some freaking land. Holy shit, this guy can move. No, I can I, can I get down to Haldor? I don't know what are you, you know what? I don't care what you're hitting. Oh Jesus! I ran right into another one. <laughs> no! I'm out. Dipping the fuck out. Hi Haldor. Hello. Holy Jesus. <laughs> Hi, bud. I'm, yeah, Hall, see, Halstein cuddles me. Okay, Halstein cuddles me. I like that. You ran to the forest and the, yeah, the meteors followed. That's exactly what happened. All right, we are nowhere near where I need to be, which is over here, forward base. Okay. I have since... Recovered my stamina. Oh shit. OK, 
Get her effed, sir. Alright, uh, so the whole idea was to park the boat up here. The boat didn't make it. Yeah, the, the ship didn't make it up this way. Somebody decided that uh, it was it was wasn't in the cards. Not for me. And had thusly determined that maybe, just maybe. <laughs> It was time to unleash medias. And in this man's infinite wisdom, he thusly destroyed the Kav. For the, the Sleepy, by the way, this is the second time that Sleepy Developer has destroyed one of my boats. The second time. <laughs> Alright, I wonder if maybe, just maybe, if we can sneak around this mother trucker. Don't make any sudden- Don't you dare make any noises. Don't make any sudden moves. Fuck! Run! Run, Bobby! Well, it was- it, what, Was it a war crime the first time? I mean, it kind of was, yeah? It was kind of a war crime the first time. That doesn't make it any less of a war crime the second time around either, sir. Oh shit, come on, nope. Oh, yacha. Oh boy. Um, let's put that in there. And the bones in there, and the stones in there. Okay, listen. Listen here, bud. Damn it, that hurt. Oh, my legs. Okay, you know what? No. Fuck all of you. No, well, you're bullshit, too. Get out of here. Stop breaking my shit, you bastards. My house. Get out of here. God damn it. Uh, what? I'm like, excuse me. Alright, so... We, we, you need boats in this game. Boats are kind of important, okay? Boats are kind of an important part. I step away and we're talking about war crimes. What I didn't do anything. The war crime was you destroying the boat. <laughs> That's the war crime. The man who destroyed the boat is the war crime. That's the war crime. That is the war crime that was committed. Boat's important, so it's getting yeah, listen, so it's getting good. Wow. 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 
Okay, what else do we have in here? Nothing. All right, uh, we're just gonna drop all of that. I'm gonna keep that. We're gonna keep that. The buke berries, that, that, that. And I'm just gonna dump all this crap in here because I don't need it. Okay, so we managed to survive. Uh, actually, hold on. This is what we're gonna do. Because dad's gotta use the bathroom. Now, the real problem is, I don't understand why it's... What? Oh. Alright, we're gonna pop that out for a second. Yeah, alright, that's better. And then, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna... Okay, so, trust me on this, all right? There we go, all right, that's better. I, I, I'm not risking getting stuck on a goddamn door, chat. Not gonna happen. No, sir, not happening. No, uh sure not. All right, so here's what's going to happen, chat. Here's what is going to happen. First and foremost, I'm going to stop the uh stop the integration for chaos tricks just so you guys can't pull any. Yo, don't call me a pleb, Dega. Dega, how you doing? So, first I'm uh, I'm gonna just sit up atop my uh, my uh, my high horse here for a moment, and I'm gonna grab a short break because I need to use the bathroom. Dega, I'll catch up with you in a moment. Please stick around. All of you, get up, grab a short break, get something to eat, get something to drink. If it's nice, go outside, get some fresh air for a quick second. I'll be back in in a few moments.
Hi, chat. Hello. In big. What do you mean it's hot? Hot where you are, Thounder, all the time. Where do you live, Thounder? And Dega, it's not wet all the time. I've been told, informed by my mother who goes to UK quite frequently because she is a British national. It is not wet there all the time. That is a fallacy. Oh, Thounder's in Colombia. Well, yeah, that would definitely be... That's, so, Thounder, that means it's hot and wet where you are. <laughs> Hi, chat. I'm back from bake. I'm back from break. Hey, Dega. Sir. Okay, uh, let me let me get down off my off my uh, little freaking perch here for a moment. Let's get into some food and um, yeah, we're, we're gonna omenoms. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got poison arrows too. Ooh, I forgot about that. All right. Uh, let's do boom. There we go. Back. Done and dusted. All right, so we are back. Uh, that that took a short little bit of a break, and now we can get out of here and continue on our merry way uh, without without my boat. Hippos, slider. I was about to say hippos in Colombia, in this economy. In this goddamn economy. Oh! Whoop. Hey. Right. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Slider. Uh, sleepy developer broke my boat again. Second time. This is officially the second time that my boat has been destroyed by a meteor shower because of Sleepy. Google Escobar Hippo. Tell outside my window it's not wet all the time. I mean, I'm sorry you live in a part of the UK where it seems to be wet all the time. Why not just move to a different part of the UK where it isn't wet all the time? That just seems to make a little bit more sense to me. If you know what I mean. It wasn't a war crime the first time. Nah, it's always a war crime. Always. Pablo Escobar's cocaine hippos are multiplying and starting to attack people. Very dangerous. Pardon me? The fuck? Well, yeah, I, I, I get had a zoo and they escaped. Oh my god. Oh hell no. By the way, chat, uh, we're trying something different. We're gonna try something different. That's what we're gonna do. So, 20 gifted subs or a $100 tip. We're gonna start, I will start scheduling special after dark streams. You know what? No, no. Y'all can fucking whoop on each other over there. I'm okay with this. Man, he... That renegade is kicking that troll's ass, though. Sleepy developer activates lock edit for 1,200 oh, bits. Oh, shit! Oh, come on! Seriously? God damn it. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna hide under here. I'm gonna hide amongst the skeletal remains. They won't see me. Holy shit. <laughs> One cocaine hippo per 20 bucks. Jesus! That is actually <laughs> active trolls. Dun dun dun! Oh, sweet lord! Oh, I mean, I'm getting all. Look at all the wood! Chat, look at all my wood. Look at all my wood, chat. 
It's beautiful. Oh, holy God, there's a lot of wood here. Oh, 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 hey, hey. Uh, I'm gonna end up fat rolling at the rate I'm going. Chat. If I fat roll, it is Sleepy Developer's fault, okay? <laughs> Sleepy's like, get effed, sir. Here I am like, yay! Well, we just took out a one-star renegade, like, uh, ex-con hippo. Woo! Is that like cocaine bear, only hippos? <laughs> Holy god, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. There's an... Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, that is not the one I wanted. Oh, no. Shit. Shit. No. Okay, no, we're, we're fine. This is fine. Oh, no, no. This, this is not fine. Not fine. Not fine. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Not fine. Not fine. This is bad. This is all kinds of... Oh, no. I was like, oh, he died already? Shit, that was quick. No, he's just... <laughs> he's angry. Oh, I, we made him angry. Okay, you, sir. Get fucked. I need your bullshit like I need another hole in the head. Where's he going? Yo! <laughs> we ain't done. Sir, I need to talk to you about your extended car warranty. Hey, sir. Sir, sir. Uh, uh, sir? The fuck did the troll? That troll just ran away. He bit. Sleepy, your troll just bitched out. <laughs> your troll 100% just bitched out. All right, well, damn Kenozi, <laughs> damn Kenozi and trolls. Cocaine, yeah. Crack bear is scarier than cocaine bear? I mean, prove it. <laughs> Probably chase down an NPC? I don't think so, because if he had, like, he vanished. Like, he full-on bitched the F out. There were no NPCs for it to chase down, though. That was the thing. That's the weird part. I'm like, bruh. All right, we're, we're going to head towards the mountains. <laughs> it was proportional. Is there such a thing as actually proportional? I don't feel so. Basalt bear? I mean, isn't that just uh, isn't that just a nice way of saying Florida man? This bronze spear kind of OP. All right, so we should be bordering up along the mountains here soon. Yep, there we go. Okay. Oh Jesus! Get effed, sir. Jesus Christ. Yeah, shit just running up on me. A dick. So somewhere along here. Oh, come on. For 225 bits. Whoa, shit. Ow. Oh, God damn. These are two star. Look. Ow. Oh. Ah. No, I'm not dying here.
I refuse to die. Oh, God damn. I might die. Okay, not gonna die. Jesus. Holy hell. Is this a player, uh, pl uh, player OP plus nerf? I feel like that's what this is turning into. Scam! <laughs> Refund! Why? Because I didn't die? <laughs> okay, you guys have to understand, it is not easy when you start running out of stamina. <laughs> I feel good. Yeah, because there's fucking snow over there. And where there's snow, there's wolves. <laughs> refund! Hashtag refund. Scammed! As sleepy developer is trying to push my shit in. Now I'm just gonna grayling box, cause you know. Is this, this should be, okay, so this is swamp, oh god. Aw, oh, come on. Swamp at night, awesome. This, this, this is absolutely goddamn fantastic. That has roaming bosses everywhere. Fuck. Oh shit! Okay, somewhere along here, I have a hut. Somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, come on. No. 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 No means no. Somewhere around here, I have a hut. I'd like to find it. And I have, uh, I th think that's copper. Yeah. Well, it's not a hut, actually. I should let me restate that. It is another one of those. Oh my God! Where did you come from, you dick? God damn it, sir. Wow. Talk about being in unfriendly territory. I see the brute. Here's the brute. Holy Christ on a crutch. It's like, hey, you know what? You know what would make this more fun? Nighttime. Nighttime would just make this so much more fun. I can't see shit. Oh, I think I found I think I found my my location here. Oh, thank God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Is this? Nope. Uh, sure fucking not. <laughs> Damn it. Um, there's so much stuff to deal with up here. Oh, is that it? Possibly? I don't think so. I don't know. Ow. Get wrecked. Alright, uh, let's check and see if this is it. I don't think this is. Uh, no, definitely does not seem to be it. Alright, you know what? I'm tired of your shit, too. 
God damn it. Sheesh. Oh, scared. <laughs> I can't listen. It's not my fault that the troll decided to nope the FA. Okay, so this was definitely a spot that I've stopped. Rusty sturdy. Okay. Um, slash resistance. Okay, nice. Magic rag tunic. I'll throw that in there. I'm going to throw the ancient seed in there. We'll throw that in there too. Why not? And yeah, we'll throw the... Okay. Uh, we're... Okay, so we're right on the edge of the swamp here. So that must mean that the spot that I'm looking for has to be over here. I have a ta- I didn't mark- I should have marked it actually on the map. That's- that's my fault. I didn't mark it on the map and I should have. That's my pro- that is- that is big time my own fault. I didn't mark. So I have a tower here somewhere along this edge of the swamp. Hi Sarasal, how are- how are you? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. You know what? That's all that was in that was great dwarf eyes. Oh come on. Do 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 do. Bum 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 bum. He came in here wielding the the uh you know the crescent wand. Just had to kind of throw down. Okay. What do we got in the chest? Absolutely nothing. Because I've already taken the good stuff out of that chest. Alright, so obviously this is a spot that I've been. Sous vide chicken time. I mean, listen. Nothing wrong with a little bit of chicken. I lo I, God knows I love me some chicken. Alright. I do. I, lo I loves me some chicken. I sure, sure shoot and loves me some chicken. Uh, I actually did uh, tacos last night, but it was more traditional tacos. Um, that's technically, I guess it would be more like a burrito considering I used Mexican rice. That's right, that's right. Chicken, fish of the land. Oh yeah, that's right. Everybody loves a little bit of that there fish of the land chat. Get wrecked. Nothing. All right. Whole lot of nothing going on. Get fucking wrecked, sir. Taco is no rice. Yes, rice is a burrito. Yes, so I did. I did beef and bean burritos yesterday. Beef and bean burritos. Sailor Scout mode. Ooh. Chat, we're Sailor Scouts now. You're welcome. I don't know what's going on down there, but it looks like a full-on fucking war, and I'm staying out of that BS. World saving 30 seconds. That's right, because can't do shit while I'm up here. Oh, God damn it. Pardon me. You did not just raise a hand at me and try to chuck that shit. Nope. Too late. Oh, God damn. Holy shit. Wraith? Wraith is bad. Mmm! Get off, sir! Holy shit! What did we get? Mining bronze pickaxe of grace. Pickaxes, skill plus eight, no movement speed penalty. What do we currently have? Weightless. Ooh, I'm gonna keep the one that I've got, but we're definitely taking that one home. That one is going home.
That son of a bitch. I knew we were going to get freaking murked by a wraith at some point. It was just a matter of time. Ah, uh, you know what? No, fuck this. Ow! Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. No, you got friends. No, you brought friends. Oh, hell no. Nope. Bye. Bye. I'm out. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> nope. Get F, good sir. Oh, I found my tower. I found my tower. I found it. Woo. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We're just gonna dump the captain materials in here. And that stuff in there. We're gonna we're gonna run up top and get rid of the buke berries, cause f those. Ooh, Jesus. Uh, so as you can see, I have it's unconnected because I was like, and I'm oh god damn it. Now I'm doing the whole, you know what I wish I could do? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> this is home now. Somebody broke my boat. You know, we're not naming names. Not gonna name any names, sleepy developer. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna pitch that out there. We're gonna throw that out there. All right. Um, can't I like that? You cannot sleep at this time. Tell me I can't. Don't you tell me I can't sleep at this time, you bastard. How long do I have? Oh, okay. There we go. It finally reset. All right, we're good. Uh, my workbench. Good, workbench is still down here. Repaired what I could. Okay, um. They've reset. Okay, we can get the F out of here. God damn it, you guys are aggressive. Have you tried turning it off and on? <laughs> I'm not mock. Listen, I'll never mock that. It works. We all know it works. Every single last one of us, folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. I'm your host, Scott. This is the Arcade, and it's Tuesday. Tuesdays and Thursdays here on the uh, on the grid, uh, we uh, we play Valheim, heavily modded, as you can see, very pretty. Uh, but that's yeah, it works. That's the joke. I know, right? Aha! It works. Okay, so first and foremost, we're in the plane, so we got to be a little careful because this place is. Fucking dangerous. <laughs> leather pant resistant leather pants of the feather. <gasps> Physical damage reduction plus four feather fall. That means I can slow fall. Ooh. Okay. Uh, you know what? That's fine. Those are fullings. Let's try not to uh, go to the eye of the fullings. Well, hard enough time dealing with freaking death mosquitoes. Let's try not to piss the fullings. Ah, oh, there's an entire village of them. Great. That's fantastic. Oh, and they got a base up here. Oh, come on. Ay. 
okay. Um, this isn't optimal. Whoa. I'm going to groan all the time. All the groaning. All the groaning. You know what? We're going to check this one out first. And I uh, hope that... I heard you. Where are you, you little bastard? I heard you. Oh, you're up top. Ooh! Get up, sir. Black metal scrap. an idea. <laughs> I'm gonna totally cheese the shit out of this. He's on fire! Chat. Look at him burn. Look at the man's burn. There we go. One did. You're dead. Next. Oh, well. That didn't work out so well, did it? Oh, there we go. That one is. Got him. Oh! Sweet Jesus. Excuse me. Hi, sir. I mean that's fine. You, you can go over there. That that you know what? I'm okay. You just, that's right. You just stay over there, you bastard. All right. I've never. What is the an, channels the ancient power of Yagul? Uh, Yagluth. Ow! Okay, come on now. Oh, a little fucking on call for, don't you think? Sheesh. Sharpening stone. Hey, we can build a grinding wheel now. Very nice. Barley. Blood tra epic leather pants. They're tier 10. Slash damage reduction. Armor plus... Okay, hold on. Uh, movement skills plus 12. Durability plus 85%. Armor plus 15%. Um, God damn, those are good. Epic leather tunic. Health regen plus 4 per tick. Health regen plus 15%. Glowing. Uh, you know what? We're taking both of these. 24 armor. 20. You know, we're going to try wearing the epic ones for the time being. Just, just to give it a try. Just to, just to see. Let's try the epic ones for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to put those down there because... Svartalfar, uh, Svartalfar suit. No, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that one. Uh, we do have to... <gasps> Jesus Christ, don't die. Oh, my God. You know what? Oh, that's it. Aha! Freedom! Nobody puts baby in a corner. Okay, so uh, we're on the other side of the uh, Yule Mountain here. As we're effing around towards the swamp, we're going to head down to this crypt. Uh.
That man just had his ex whole entire existence ruined. <laughs> I mean, he started it, okay? He started it. What do we got going on down here? Sounds like there's a whole lot of unhappy in the hole. Oh, Jesus, it's a dry... Uh, Another bronze pickaxe. We got nothing else, just that. So no loot. Okay, that's fine. No loot. Fine. Fair. Get wrecked. Oop. So if you notice, we're just we're staying on the outer edge of the goddamn swamp right now. You know why? Because I'd rather not be wet. I'm trying to stay dry for the time being. Because soon enough, there we go. We sink down, and now we are getting into the old... We're gonna, we're gonna end up wet, chat. Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is. Wet. Gwown. Gwown. Nobody likes the wet gwown. We're groaning about the wet. There's a reason we're groaning about the wet. The wet kind of blows. Uh, what do we got? Another Striker's Bronze Pickaxe of Weightlessness. Okay, well, we're going to get rid of that. Uh, we're going to get rid of... Get rid of that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And that. Okay. Right. Well, we've uh, shed a little bit of extra weight here. I feel as though it is uh, high time. Oh. I hear something. Man, he's persistent. Okay, here we go. Sunken Crypt. It's the only one we've found so far here. Oh, hey, it's blobs. Awesome sauce. This is fantastic. This is great fun. Oh, goddamn. Oh, 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 oh. Poison socks. And so does not having any freaking light. Well. <laughs> okay, here we go. Scrap iron, that's what we're looking for right there. The scrap iron, let's go. This is what we needed right here. Now the best part is, oh shit, okay.
So, you might notice one of the game mechanics here. I haven't taken all of that. This is how we do it. I don't know if you happen to notice or not, but, uh... So, there was just this little chunk left here, right? They weren't able to get through it, but I was. <laughs> Is that cheesy? Yes. Do I care? Definitely not. Would I do it again? 100% can confirm. Would do it again. Yes, I would. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave that there for a moment. Just in case. Okay, more entrails. Yay, more entrails. All right, so I can clear this one out now. Okay, uh, seems to be... Yep, alright, that one's cleared out. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. <laughs> That's pretty much how it's going. Okay, uh, something I gotta check. What is going on with the music right now? Wow, I did not realize... What? Is this actually... No, this song cannot be... It is an hour... So this is called Fantasy Ambient... Uh, ambiance, or... Ambience. Oh! Wow, we'll fix that. There we go. There we go. I was like, why is it stuck on the same? Because it's actually meant to be like that. Anyway. It's like, what the hell is going on with my music? Hmm. All right. Well. How did I get leather scraps from a muddy scrap pile? You know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're not even going to attempt to understand how that happened. Okay. All of that. How much do we have now? 16? Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there, we got some now. So this was kind of the goal. Ooh, this one's got something behind it. Yep. Righto. Okay, this one does not. I am all right with this. Let's just continue with what we're doing. Holy shit. As you can see, I'm like trying to be very, very super cautious about this. The last thing I want to be doing is corpse dragging my ass back into- Oh. Okay, well, nothing there. That's fair. Level 13 swim, let's go. Alright, so... Looks like we found uh, the next one that's got something hiding behind it. As you heard the wet.
Withered bone. What the fuck is that? You know what? No matter. We got it. Whatever it is, we got this thing called withered bone. Is that, uh, is that, uh, is withered bone actually like, uh, like a penis? Is that what that is? It's like a penis, right? Thank you. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> Chat, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. You guys, you know, the thing is though, is you guys are really quiet. And it is hard to have an engaging conversation with anyone when nobody else is talking. Trimmer can't be only one talking. Okay. That's that's not how that's not how streamer streamers work. Okay. Very difficult. It's very difficult to have conversation. A streamer is only one talking. Chat. It's a two-way street. It's a very 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 much two-way street. Oh wait, there's You know what? Can't get in there. Fine. Be that way. Alright, so we got some more here. We're going to clear this doorway out. How much do we have now, anyway? 25 out of 300. Okay, well. We're definitely getting some stuff collected up here, so that is a plus. Hello, Blob! Blobs don't like fire, by the way. Something uh, else we've also already found. Aha! Got you, sir. Right ho! Muddy scrap pile! Added troll leather helmet. Okay, uh, I'll take it. There we go. Got anything? What is this? What? Coins? I'll take the coins. You know what else I haven't found? I have not found any indicator of a sigil for bone mass. Mind you, I wasn't really keeping an eye open for that, so I'm going to have to... I think that is something that we're gonna have. We we're probably gonna have to go through here. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, we need to keep an eye open for um, a sigil for bone mass to have bone mass appear on the map. But as you guys can see. Doesn't really appear to be anything like that. Hmm. All right. Nope. Definitely does not appear to be a sigil anywhere for us. All right. Oh, oh, wait, that. Okay. Uh, you know what? Fair enough. No sigil. Got it. Check. 
So, here's what we're gonna do. This one is now officially done. It's complete. I'm gonna throw the big old red X on it. We're gonna get the F out of here. And we are gonna try to beat feet as fast as possible to get home, because this one is now complete. So the point here is to try to make it- holy shit, look at the size of that bastard! Try to make it out of the swamp alive and in one piece, and head for home. Thank y'all! Get out of here, sir! Okay. Yeesh. That is a big ass blob over there, by the way. Uh, what do we got over here? That looks like a spawn. Ah, oh, you know what? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to deal with this one. That is an abomination. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's a stampy. Nope. That is a stamp. No. Nah, F all of that shit. That is a stampy over there. Nope. Oh, my God. We are getting. We're. We're. We're in danger. Chat. That is in danger. Oh, Lord. Oh god, oh god, oh sweet Jesus. Oh. How did the Draugr get up here? You know what? Nope, that's it. Nope, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking out. Holy shit, chat. Cheating bastards. Holy hell. Okay, Chad, Dad needs help. Help. I'm a help. Mama, can you help me? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. I was not ex expecting a Stampy to just all of a sudden go on a rampage. Like, hey, you don't like your life much, do you? Here, here, have fun. <laughs> Here's a Stampy. Freaking abomination out of the blue, just like, you know... We understand that you, you enjoy your stay in the swamp so much. God damn it. Alright, what do we got? What can I get rid of? Um I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Use, we're gonna keep up. We're gonna get rid of that. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. You know what? Come on. I'll fight you from up here. I'm on your level now. <laughs> this might not be easy. Chat, it keeps running away. Chat keeps running away. Stampy keeps running away, and I don't know why. Can somebody make the Stampy come back? It is really effing dark in here. I 
I can't even see that mother trucker. Where is it? I hear it. I can't see it though. Okay, listen, we have to get out of here. That abomination is not gonna do us any favors, okay? This is where we are. I need to get up and around. Mm. Okay. I hear it moving around, but I can't see it now. I don't know where the Stampy is, but he's definitely here. I can hear making the- oh, well, there's a Draugr. That's not what I'm looking for, though, chat. Uh, we gotta- oof. Alright, Draugrs, I can handle you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're making the run. We're trying to get the hell out of here without dying. Okay, so far so good. Oh, here we go. Mm. All of you can get F. Thank you. Leeches don't care. All right. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I need some dry land. Why are we slapping people? Sleepy's like, yeah. You know what? No, Sleepy, go ahead. Start slapping people. Make sure people are awake. Wake them up. If y'all are sitting here sleeping, get your asses up. Get active in chat. Come on. Nobody likes that chat. Twitch streamer can't have conversation with himself. It makes us look crazy. It's not a good look, chat. It really isn't. Alright. Uh, By the way, uh, who here is looking forward to tomorrow when we check out uh, Soul Mask, which is another survival game? Uh, as part of the uh, Steam Next, Next Fest. Ow. Uh, no, no! Oh, god damn! Holy hit! Oh, come on! Seriously? That's right. That- that's exactly- see? That's right, Sleepy. That's right. Whack him in the noodle. Whack him in the noodle, Sleepy. Holy hell! I'd just like to be dry. Cause right now I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm so wet. I'm tired of being wet chat, I want to be dry. I want to be arid extra dry. By the way, just just so we're clear. Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. I'm your host, Scott. This is the Arcade. Happy Tuesday. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays here. We spend time in Valheim. Uh, I started a fresh 
uh, fresh roll and playthrough. It is heavily modded. Just so everyone is, uh, if, if anybody has any questions, I have, uh, there is a link. I don't currently have it available. Actually, may maybe I do. No, I don't. Uh, I would highly recommend, though, if you ever get an opportunity, look up Gothic Valhalla. And all the mods that I use are actually on that mod pack. Or part of that mod pack. Okay, we're gonna skirt all of this crap. Okay, we're also gonna grab some carrot seeds while we're rolling through here. Okay. Troll avoided. God for that. Uh, also, this is going to be legitimately a run home uh, because, well, my my boat got broken. Can't imagine who did that. <laughs> apparently, uh, apparently, uh, rocks from space have this habit of breaking things. <laughs> One of the first things I will be tending to as soon as we get back to base, though, is it is going to be getting the getting the ship rebuilt. Ship needs to be rebuilt, chat. Now, something I hadn't considered, and now maybe I am going to start, is I should be using uh, the cart. I should actually be using, uh, using one of those carts. Downside is, though, is the cart really doesn't lend itself to being great in forest or, uh, while you're trying to escape. From a, 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 sir. Get off me, but Hmm. Right. Uh, what can I get rid of? We're going to get rid of the Draugr head. And that allowed me to pick up the rubies, but still nothing about the... Okay, what else can I get rid of then? Wow, that music is loud. Holy hell. Woo. Um... Barley? No. You know what? We're going to get rid of the... There we go. Okay. We'll get rid of the skulls. Don't need the skull. We're good. All right. Fucking skeletons, man. Just once, I would like a single route that didn't involve me having... Oh, uh, you know what? Nope. No more spawns for you, you bitch. Get bent, sir. Yes, we're just leaving the loot. I don't need the loot right now. What I need to do is I need to make it back to our, make make it back to base. Get the boat rebuilt and start uh, start doing some work with the uh, the the iron scraps that we were able to retrieve from that one in single crypt on this entire continent. And if you just uh, if we just hang out for a moment here, I will show everyone what we're currently doing. So we were here. This is the only crypt out of this entire continent that we had available to us. This is where I need to be. <laughs> it's up here. 
We got a hike. It's a it's a bit of a foot patrol, okay? It is 100% can confirm foot patrol all the way. Is burying someone in a tomb like structure encryption? Oh hell no. No. No sleepy, that is not. No. Uh-uh. Negative. Oh, ow! <laughs> Sir, get aft. Oh, here we go, here we go. Why is he wet? You know what, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter why the, the skeleton is wet. We don't need to understand why the skeleton was wet. We don't need to. Uh, no. Ooh, that's a that's a very dangerous game. We were just heading the wrong fucking direction. All the thistle. Your bones are wet too. Ow! Get over here, you son of a bitch! You sneaky bastard! Fucking hell! My bones are wet too, huh? My bones are wet, he says, chat. Is that because they're inside the skin suit? Is that why the bones are wet? Hmm? Is it because is it because the bones are inside the skin suit, sir? Hmm? No, we are not heading towards Ike. Oh god damn it. You know what? Get aft. Shit. We just have a basic run away from the stupid. I just want to reach out and touch you. Aw, Sleepy, look at that. Sleepy can love himself. Chat, it's a miracle. Sleepy showed himself love. Aw. All right, um, is there, oh, I do actually have, really? I love that workbench crafting station requires a roof. Does it really though? I don't think it does. I think now you're just being nitpicky. What did we? Nothing in here, hmm? Okay. That's fine. That, that's, you know, no, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing in here. Obviously I've already been here. There's a workbench in place. Did dad actually, okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, that's better. Woo. Let's just put it this way, if if I were to die now, it's going to be a pain in the ass because I'm going to spawn all the way back at that swamp top base and I've got no gear there and I'd have to, I'd have to try to corpse, corpse crawl my body. I'd have to body crawl to get up here to get my stuff back. Which would suck. I'm going to take all the bones away. So you know what? No.
He's pathing that way. We're going this way. That's fine. Um, we've got another low. I should have cleared this one out. Pretty sure I have. Yeah, this. Okay. Yeah, because this is the one where we had the skeleton sitting outside. We had the uh, beehive and we had that brute in here. So. All right. So far, so good. We're doing well. We're actually making pretty decent time for base. So, the downside is... Definitely going to have to... Got to reconstruct the boat, for one. That, that is definitely one thing. Got to re reconstruct the boat. Uh, but that being said... It's not just reconstructing the boat. We're I'm going to now have to start doing some sailing to open up the map a little bit better. And the reason for that is as you can see, I've already checked all the locations that we have swamp. And the swamp areas uh they're just we've only had the one crypt. Uh I did not see I did not find the crest in that single crypt for uh, for bone mass, so in order to unlock bone mass or find his spawn point, definitely gonna have to uh, do a little bit of do a little bit of work. Have we got anything in here? Nope. Well, there's a door on this one though, at least. So that's something. Oh god, I'm stuck in trees. I'm in like forested hell, the weird fucking world we live in. Three million internet connected toothbrushes used in bot attack. Wait, what? Okay, first of all, internet connected toothbrushes. That's a fucking thing? Why does your toothbrush need a freaking internet connection? Why is that a device that requires like... What? What? What in the Slide actual hell? To play in first person view for five minutes. There's no first person view in this game, Nuts Life. This is the closest to first person I can get, sir. This is the closest to first person I can get. Okay. There is no first person view. Nuts Life wants you to shoot without aiming for 30 seconds. Shoot what? This is, does this look like do, does this look like a game that I have a gun in? Do, does it look like I have a gun? Not slight wants you to not use your boost pack for three minutes. That's not a gun, and this is not Starfield, sir. Not Starfield. I don't have a boost pack either. There is no boost That's pack like in this game. Ha -ha. Uh, don't you haha -ha me. That I'm being hunted by two different freaking Meadows overlords. Holy shit, they're both on me. Wow. Fucking persistent, aren't they? Jesus, the aggro is real right now. I don't care about the one star door or deer. Whoa, gee, oh, come on. You've got to be effing with me here, bruh. Another one of these mother truckers. No, that's fine. You know what? No. We're going around. I'm going to let that man. Yeah, I'm just going to let you stand down there. I don't have lightning. 
Did you miss the part in the Nordic lore where Thor about Thor's Glock? Listen, I don't have any way of shooting lightning, chat. Do I look like I have fucking magic? Nuts life says freeze for five seconds. There's your freeze, sir. There, you got your freeze, sir. Five seconds. That one counts because it's a general one, so. Welcome back, Nuts Life. Took you long enough to come back to us, you bastard. Uh, we got all sorts of things going on up here, don't we? I'm just trying to avoid all the stupid crap. Well, I expected you to accept, take responsibility for the fact that your legs are sore and that you shouldn't feel grumpy towards anyone else because it is not our fault that your legs are sore. You made a decision. You chose to go to the gym and do a little bit of a workout. And that is on you. And therefore, that means it is also on you to find a way to soothe the pain without, in turn, hurting anyone else. It is not our fault that you chose to, to, to do the right thing and try to be healthy. That is 100% on you, you son of a bitch. Ow. Holy hell. Okay. All right. I think, I think, yeah, I think we did it. We did it. Hi, Kimmy. Don't mind Nuts Life. He's just aggressive all the time. He has issues. It's okay. We understand it. We still love him, but he's just angry all the time. But that's his problem. That is his issue to figure out. That is not for us. That is not for us. He's the one who has to figure out why he's angry and bitter all the time. No matter what he does, he's just unhappy and sad and mad and aggressive. Oh, come on. Bruh. I see the glowing sword over there and I see big, big and scratchy ass over there too. This, this is no bueno. Okay, so we're running through the forest. And stereotypes about Dutch probably are stereotypes for a reason. I think stereotypes are bullshit. And anybody who feeds into uh, a stereotype is just not living their true life. Because I'll be honest, the stereotypical Dutch person is bullshit. Because I grew up around Dutch people. You know what? None of them are anything like you at all. In any way, shape, or form. In any way, shape, or form. Not, not even a little bit. By the way, chat. We got a couple of, we got something new. We're going to try something new. So, that's the new thing that we're going to try. Every 20 gifted subs or a $100 tip, we are going to schedule an arcade after dark. That means it'll be a couple of, you know, a couple of drinks, adult drinks. Uh, and we'll get into some late night Twitch shenanigans. So what that effectively does is it gives an extra stream every time we uh, we get like 20 gifted subs or a hundred or a hundred dollar tip, extra stream. Now that doesn't mean it, the the after dark happens the day of. It does take roughly 24 to 48 hours to plan something like that. I can't just automatically go, hey, we're just going to continue. No, it's a separate stream, but it is a bonus stream outside of the regular schedule. So, just wanted to share that with everyone. Uh, yeah, we, we've got all this. Oh, I know why, hold on. That's why I haven't been picking shit all up. Okay, uh. And uh, you know, if you're here, thanks for being here, appreciate it. Why are there so many of these fucking Shamans are everywhere. What is the deal, bro? Uh, no. Oh, come. Oh. 
Oh. Shit. Nope. New. I said new. Paul, how you doing? Uh, Star Trucker demo. I know of it, but um, I'm not going to be taking a look at it right now. I mean, for anybody who's who's taking a look at it, that's cool. Uh, tomorrow, we are taking a break from Enshrouded, though. Uh, we're going to be jumping into a uh, a uh, next uh, Steam Next Fest title called uh, Soul Mask. Don't need Kiosk Mod for this biome. Yeah, everything's out to everything's out to murder me right now. It is that is factually correct. But yeah, I, I, I like it was actually Sleepy Developer that told me about the uh, Nuts Life says hands up for five seconds. By the way, Paul, hi, how are you? I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Thanks for being here. Hey, yo, there's your five seconds, you bastard. All right. Now, I hope everyone understands, though, that um, just like the trucking simulators and some of the racing stuff and the flight stuff, I'm just, I'm kind of taking a break from it, right? Uh, I'm enjoying the, uh, I'm, okay, so for me personally, what I, what it is coming down to is I'm enjoying the variability of play of some of these survival games. Get wrecked. Those are brutes down there. Ah, that's fine. You know what? No, no, that's fine. Oh, God damn it. Let me... Can, can I get into my... Woo! I love how it's like... There are enemies nearby. No shit, there are enemies nearby. Genius. Flinted. Flinted. Uh, we're gonna grab those, though. What have you been up to lately, Paul? Okay, we got a bunch of stuff to move around up here, too. Those carrot seeds, you're coming back with me. All right, can... Right, okay, so before we can sleep, I gotta kill enemies. Got it. Check. Get wrecked, sir! Away from my building, you son of a bitch. Shit, what do you mean just missed that? What do you mean just missed that? Or missed timed it, sir? Like that. You are wet. No kidding. Alright, let's get a little bit of sleep. Chad, I'm wet. All right, feel rested. Okay, uh, I'll take that. That that, as far as I'm concerned, is a win. It is effing wet out here. This is not not kosher. Definitely not cash money. But we at least uh, are dealing with daylight now, so we can see what the hell we're doing. God damn. Why, why is, uh, why does nature hate me so much in this game? Hmm? Hmm? Can, can I, you know what? I'm, I don't have time for the grayling boxing BS. Don't have any time for any of that. Nope. I don't have any time for your crap either, sir.
Well, this looks like the site of a war crime, Sleepy. I wonder what happened here, sir. Can't imagine what would have knocked all these trees over. Looks like a bunch of war crimes to me, sir. Looks like the scene of a major crime, sir. <laughs> Awful lot of trees down around here. Anyway, uh, so, uh, here we go. Yep. Hey, buddy. So, there's the overlord over there, and then we've got a troll on top. Why? You know what? The troll will attack everything else except for the overlord. I don't understand this. The overlord ain't that tough. Oh, hey, look, it's... We can always tell the war crime scenes. We see Sleepy Developer's influence, sphere of influence. All the war crimes. All of them. That is an awful lot of floating wood. Oh, yeah. Salty. Ah, uh, listen. That is the scene of a war crime. <laughs> Yep, war crimes. <laughs> you lived, didn't you? That's debatable. Ow. That's debatable, sir. I j I, okay, I didn't cheese both. How did I, okay, explain to me how I cheesed both. Those logs are left over from when you tried to end Zaul and I, and I didn't cheese it. The other one, the boat got destroyed. <laughs> I still can't believe you dis- I, I didn't hide during that one. Those logs dropping the log again, there was no hiding. We were in open water, and we didn't have the wind helping us. I was just rowing. Now, the funny thing is though, the ones from today? No, no, no. The log again? That that that's not the log again from today. But you did manage. Listen, let's 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 both agree on one thing. Meteor shower seems to work better on boats than log again. Why? Because the spawner for the meteor shower gets stuck on the boat. Now I'm sure log again would be far more effective on a larger, slower boat. Man, this game just is trying to end my existence today, isn't it? All of it. All this game. All the game. How can how big can boats get in this game? Uh like you can haul eight people on it. Like they can get big. Kimmy, how have you never heard of Valheim? It's been around since like 2020. This game is like four years old. And this is all Viking, like Norse mythology. This is all Norse. We're doing this to gain entrance into Valhalla. I watch mostly the racing. Ah, well, there you go. It's fine. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the three hull, do you mean the triemes? Uh, we can... Well, so... The ship would technically be... Large, but... They only give you seating for like... Four or eight. Well, no, this isn't supposed to be accurate, though. You have to understand, there has to be... Nobody wants to actually play in a historically accurate Viking game. Because it would be boring as shit. I'll be honest. A, a, a historically accurate Viking game would be boring. Because most of it would be just hunting, farming, and, uh, you know, and, and, uh, you know, sleeping around and taking slaves. Doesn't sound like fun to me. Whereas this, Valheim is the 10th realm. Uh, we were sent here, we were plucked as we died on, on in battle on our way to Midgar, uh, on, on our way to uh, Valhalla to stop an uprising of the Forsaken. In the prison realm, the 10th realm, which I know the 10th realm doesn't actually exist in in in, uh, in Norse mythology. It is made up. It is a fabrication. But that being said, before we are able to gain entry into Valhalla, we were chosen by Odin as one of his strongest to protect the Nine Realms from his brethren Ikthir and the like from escaping this prison realm. So Valheim is a prison for the other de uh, gods and demigods that don't toe the line. Loki would end up in a place like this, by the way. 100%. So you have to survive while taking out the for while destroying the Forsaken. Now, a lot of what Iron Gate Studios has created for this is based on Norse mythology. And that's exactly it. Because we are diving into mythology, you can't expect everything to be realistic. Now, this game... This game will effectively run on a potato PC, though. So, there is that. Um, but I'll be honest. Uh, myself, personally, I would not really have a lot of interest in playing a... A Viking simulator, I guess. I wouldn't have it like that. That, for me, it just, like... Yeah, no, no, we, no, 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 that is a, holy god, that is a big-ass ship. Mosky Holo, Holos? No. Holy god damn, that is big, man. No, not that big. Not that big. Definitely not that big, Sleepy. That is way too big, sir. As I'm looking at Discord, like, holy hell, that's Fuck me, that's large. It would basically be, yeah, no, that, no, we, no, 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 we do not have boats, we do not have ships that large. Good God. Now, there is a mod called Valheim Raft, which would actually allow you to build something like that. You could build a floating base with all your crafting stations and everything on it. There's a reason I did not touch that mod. Uh, because of chaos tricks. No. <laughs> the last thing I need to be is on open ocean and have somebody go, Hey, you know what's funny? Let's spawn in four trolls on his monstrous floating base. What's your name, scumbag? You feeling me now? Hmm? 
You feel what I'm putting out, chat? You know what? I've had enough of this, this troll, this, you know, you're just sitting there too. No, no, come on. You can just, oh, oh, mistakes may have been made. No, no, wait, we're fine. I was like, mistakes have been made. Oh, mistakes might have been made. If he gets up here. Oh, mistakes are. Mistakes were definitely made. Oh, good God. Oh, God. Ow, my body. Oh, Jesus. What did we learn? You can't face tank the log. It's log, it's log, it's big, it's wonderful, it's wood. It's log. <gasps> oh! Nope. Oh, come on! Fucking hell. I don't have time for your bullshit too, sir. Burn Disco Inferno. Come on, burn, troll, burn. There you go. That's right. Roll down. Ugh. Roll down the hill. Oh, yeah. How? You know what? Get out of here, sir. God damn it. <laughs> I will gladly take all the gold. Woohoo! Troll is a spellcaster. He just cast log on you. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what just happened, too. Um, uh, Magic tower shield. Oh, hi. No, I don't have food for you. I'm sorry, man. I ain't got none for you. Ain't got none for you. You're just gonna listen. You can follow me home. It's fine. Whoop. That's a big ass fish. So, by the way, I have a fishing rod now. I just haven't been able to figure out how to fucking catch fish with it yet. I'm terrible at fishing. Whoop. Okay, I know I have a road here. There it is. Oh, I don't think so. Holy hell, man. Poor aggro is real right now. Correct, sir. Jesus. Okay, uh... So, as you can see, there. See, I have a fishing rod, chat. I have a fishing rod, okay? We can go fishing now. Okay, can Dad now officially build his... Put his frickin' boat back together? Where's... Wait. Where's my... Oh, right. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm like, God damn, where's my stuff? Haha! -ha! There we have it. Okay, hold on a second. There we go. All right, boat has been rebuilt.
Hey. Whew. Troll is just relaxing in the water. Y'all roll up on do them dirty. I mean, fuck that troll. Okay. Nah. Nah. Nah, fam. Okay, where is this? I mean, you know what? No. I I'm done with your bullshit too, sir. Get aft. Get bodied. How are you doing? You good? You're good. He's they're they're happy. All right, what do we got in? Okay, they're they're. I'm gonna need to start crafting up a little bit more food. What do you mean I'm out of wood? I'm out of wood. God damn it. Let me guess. Uh, okay, that's odd, but sure. All right, we have made it back. Holy crap on a cracker. <sighs> Oof. Okay, all right. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, yep, 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 yep. Bones can go there. Thank you. Um, mm, I still need more of that chitin, though. Fuck. Damn it. Uh, let's grab that, that, and that. All right. Holy crap. We made it back, chat. In one piece, kind of, sort of, maybe, possibly. Uh, we will put the ooze. What is that? Is that ooze? Yeah, that's ooze. That's guck. There is a difference between ooze and guck, by the way. Uh, that is flax. What is that? That is barley. Okay. Hmm. Frigid bronze axe of throwing? Throwable. Imbue frost. Holy sh... Okay, you know what? We're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna... That... And it's a level four. Nice. Um... Okay, so Striker's Bronze Axe of the Miner. Striker's Mining Bronze Axe. Bronze Pickaxe of Grace. So no movement skill penalty. Plus eight. That gives us attack speed plus 12, skills plus six, and weightless. Weightless is actually really good. The weightless ones are really fucking good. Uh, okay, food barrel. Do we have anything that needs to go in there? No. All right. But we can throw that into there. Uh, no, that's, that's not what I wanted. God damn it. Let's throw that and that into there. There we go. That we can do. All right. Um. Uh, I'm gonna keep that here. That. And that. Insulated troll pit. Ooh, right. Okay, so. Um, I want to say Plague Brow. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to take that. Um, Weightless Bronze Axe of Piercing. Uh, we're going to take that and instead throw that and that in there. Did I not? Do I not have chain? Oh. Oh, did I left the chains. Oh, 
where did I leave the goddamn chain, chat? Chat, where did dad leave the chain? Okay, we're gonna take that, though. Does anybody remember? Troll sex is always dirty due to high bridge... Welcome back to Slider. <laughs> Due to bridge proximity. I mean, okay, I can't say, all right? I can't. Are you not entertained? Oh, hell no. Shame. 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 No, I don't have give me back my son yet. No. No, I don't have that one yet. No, I don't. <laughs> He's like, God damn it. Oh, there we go. We got medium stam and medium health. Nice. Okay. What do we get? Rare shard. All right. That, 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 that. Um. Right ho. Okay, the rest of that we'll get rid of momentarily here. Let's go and uh, get ourselves into... Whew! Okay. It's a keeper, and by keeper I mean, I mean his son is a no backsies. <sighs> you know... Can't really disagree. Checkpoint. Can't, can't... Can't even... I can't... We can't even disagree. That's, that is the terrifying part. Okay, so what can I, I need to unlock that. I need magic dust, certainly core, and copper. What I don't understand is it's supposed to craft from chest. We have, oh, is it magic or is it epic dust? Chant, magic dust. Okay, um... Magic dust? I did some magic dusting. That's that's not the kind of magic dust we're talking about, sir. No. No. We're, we're not talking about that kind of magic dust, sir. No. Rare essence. Right, okay, so... Uh, let's do... That. And the bone goes up there. Fire reduction, blunt damage reduction. Okay, uh, we'll put that up there. Uh, I do believe, yeah, there we go. We'll get rid of that, okay. Okay, so we now officially have some potions with us too. Medium healing mead and a medium stamina mead, which is good. I feel like that's probably beneficial. Okay. Add that in. That's already done. All right. So, what I want to do, and believe it or not, okay, uh... Scrap iron, there we go. Alright. Let's get some iron going here.
Okay. So we've got that going now. I'm going to come back in here and start this. We're going to sacrifice both of that. Sacrifice. Boom. Done. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to throw that in, that in, and that in. All right. Now we're start we're starting to get somewhere, chat. We are slowly but surely starting to get I am how am I You know what? It's not this this it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're just going to let the iron Actually, you know what? No. Hold on. What can dad craft with the iron? We now officially have the iron. What can Dad craft? Iron helm. What do I need? I need 20? Holy shit. Huntsman bow. I need 20 for that too. God damn. Iron axe. I need... Everything requires 20 iron bar. Good lord. That is ridiculous. Iron nails. All right, you know what? Let's get us some new iron nails. There we go. Hey. How many? Okay, so if I want to, uh, we're gonna put these up here. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. I should be able to put that there. All right, that is fine. How are we doing? There we go. All right, let's pick our stuff. All the seeds for all the things. Good lord. Bumper crop chat. Big old bumper crop. All right. Uh we're gonna swap that out for this. And we're gonna go with seed turnip first. Bees seem really happy. So that's good. Oh, don't give me that needs cultivated soil BS. I already know that's bullshit. Baldadash, I say baldadash. Right. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. All right, uh, seed onion, please. Thank you. So here's the thing: the 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 onion is hard to come by. So you've got if the bees aren't happy, don't they just sting you? Uh, no, they don't. Thank God. Because if that's what how it worked. I would be effed, okay. 100% can confirm effed. Barley. Um, oh, I can't. Nice. What about the flax?
Okay, there we go. We got some barley and flax growing now. Last but not least. Some more turnip going here. Oh, don't give me that. I love that. Needs cultivated so Listen here, sir. Okay, that helps with that. Let's get this fixed up. Uh, what do we currently got? We've got 17 iron bar. Not bad. All right. Stuff has been planted. We can take that, throw that back down there. Uh, let's get some chow going here. Uh, we'll throw seeds in where they belong. Perfect. So, okay, so the flax did come out of there, and... Alright, so that did... Perfect. Beautiful. Um... That's all going. Now for the fun pot. Really? Scrap iron, okay, and tin ore. So the black metal, I can't do anything with. I've got 85 chunks of this, and I can't do diddly squat with it, chat. Nothing. Not a zip zilch. Alright. Fine. Um but up up but up but up but up up. Hell shroud and order. Yeah, so we're gonna. We've got a lot of stuff. Okay, that one, because it's got durability plus 95%, uh, that one I think I'm gonna grab. And that one I'm also gonna grab. And I'm gonna break those down for their constituent components. I'm gonna hit the, uh, the crafting table here. All right. So, I find it very interesting. So, we've got, so that's the, that, that is, so the, the whole thing is this should be pulling from the chest, but it's not. And I'm not exactly sure why it's not, but it is what it is. Just like the fire here in the corner should be pulling from this, but it isn't. Which again, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but... Alright, I'm just gonna let that keep doing what it's doing. Um... Excuse me, sir. Cauldron. What can we make? Black soup. 50 health, 17 stim, a perfect balance of sweetness and acidity. Turnip, honey, and blood bag. Barley wine base fire resistance needs to be fermented, so we do need the barley. Alright, so definitely got some stuff coming. So that's good. That is good. Uh, can we upgrade anything? Doesn't look like it. Nope. All right. Fair enough. Rugged backpack. I already have a rugged. Is there... Does not appear to... Wait, hold on. Oh, nope, bronze plate. Iron head arrows. Bronze, Adiger, bronze, bronze, bronze nails, cultivator, iron nails, butcher knife, copper knife, bronze mace, bronze pickaxe, banded shield. Banded with hoops of iron, a true warrior's companion, iron buckler, 
ancient bark spear. Despite its gnarled look, this spear is strong and perfectly balanced. Holy shit, that is chonky. Leather belt doesn't do anything. Neither does the gold ruby ring. Hmm. Iron scale mail, iron attiger, iron axe. So I need... Mm, that is a lot of iron just for that iron axe. I mean, we now technically have the... Uh, we have the ore to do it. Uh, one other thing I just realized... Grinding wheel, chat. We can build a grinding wheel now. Okay, so that puts that up to level five. Forge level four. There we go. Okay. Aha, we can do it now. Holy crap, that is expensive. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, we're gonna upgrade the the uh, the helmet, and the bronze cuirass. Okay, so we need bronze in order to up upgrade that. So let's do. Okay, uh, looks to be that we're a little out of copper, chat. Alright, that, that's fair. That, that's fair. Alright, let's refill the smelter up. Got it. Done and done. Okay, we'll grab that, throw that in there. Um, much brought. We only, so we only have nine copper bar left. Um, let's do this. I, yeah, I'm not building, ooh. I mean, I kinda wanna do the Huntsman's bow, but uh, for building purposes, we're gonna craft up a whole bunch of the frickin' nails here. Cause we need, we need the, uh, we need the nails, chat. Need the goddamn nails. Alright. And we'll throw that and that up there for now. Okay, that. Why did it feel like there was... Um, what the f Ah. Right, I hear boar. Not really sure where the boar is, but I heard the boar. It's almost as if the boar is stuck, but I don't know where the boar would be stuck, chat. I have no idea where that boar would be stuck. Alright. Anyway. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna do... Really? Is this... This must... Okay, you know what? Let's, let's do this. It could very well be. This might be a little too far away. So we're gonna take all of that out of there. Uh, that is then going to... Uh, excuse me? No. Okay. Collect the material up. Oh. Um, okay. That, that's a problem. Ooh. We're fat rolling, chat. That is fat rolling at the moment. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. 
Just gonna throw the wood out. Okay, now we're not fat rolling. There's a little bit of the fat roll going on, chat. It wasn't working out so well. Okay, so the... Oh, that doesn't work, though. Fuck. Um, hmm. Don't bring tidings. I don't care right now, sir. I don't care about your tidings at the moment. Trying to figure out something logistically, and you're not making life easier. Uh, excuse me, sir, 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 uh, no. <laughs> Large raft, no. Cartography, okay, so I can build the cartography table now. That's good to know. Uh, building, furniture. Ah, right, it falls under furniture, okay. Um, where is the woodshed? Visual woodshed. Okay, I have no choice but to... Looks like I don't really have much of a choice but to leave that where it is. Okay, let's see what... Alright, what do you got for me, Hugin? You need to lighten your load. If you carry too much luggage, you will become encumbered, slowing you down and preventing you from regaining your stamina. Thanks, Hugin. Alright, so that... Does have to just sort of stay. What a pain in the balls. Okay, there we go. Right. I'm watching some guy add res add resolution scaling to his native wait, am I missing something or is it just cleaning No, you shouldn't do resolution scaling to your native resolution. That. What? Wait. What do you mean you're watching? Please explain. What? 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 What do you mean he's trying to add, like generally resolution scaling, to your native resolution isn't going to change anything. Like that doesn't make any flippin' sense whatsoever. I got my single boxing to 100 FPS, but I'm trying to add more pretty back in. Okay, that makes sense. Totally makes sense. I get that. Okay, so that is too far away from this. Got it. All right. So what we're going to want to do then... Do I have... So let's... See if maybe having it there will help. I'm gonna I'm just trying I'm just trying to mess around with something right now, so just give me a quick moment here. On a five year old CPU? No, that's not bad at all. Actually, not bad at all. Alright, is that yep, that is enough. Okay. That works. Done and done. Perfect. 
Uh, what else can I... Alright, so... We got the boat rebuilt. Uh, we got the bags emptied out. So at this point, what all we can really do is we've got to kind of... Make our way back to the boat. Good lord, that fish kind of went freaking. That fish just yeeted itself, by the way. Oh boy. Right. Good enough at 200 mile per hour? I mean, that's the thing, right? Like. If it looks good at 200 mile per hour, then you don't really need to do much else, right? I have crowds and st I have stands and crowd on more for visual reference. I don't see a problem with that at all. The Reds turn four. Wait, what? The Reds turn four. The Reds turn four. There, oh, there is, there is turn four. Uh, the weather's looking a little. Holy shit! It's a little choppy out here, chat. It's a little choppy. It's a little choppy. The new box will eat this game alive. That's good, though. That's kind of what you want, right? Got to keep my eyes open. I'm trying not to die to sea serpents because we're technically in what they classify as the ocean biome right now, and serpents are definitely out here. I don't play a ton of demanding games, but I do want a full. Okay, see that? Yeah, like Cyberpunk 2077 is beautiful. And well, you've got a you've got a newer system being built anyway, right? I wanted it at full neon here. So here's the thing. Unfortunately, even with your 30 series graphics card, I'm going to tell you right now, you might be very hard pressed to do full neon. It might limp a little bit there. It might have a little bit of limp dick. Okay. Might be a problem. I'm warning you now. Well, it's not that the four it's not that the 40 series blows. That's not the case. The problem is is pricing. Now that being said, the prices have come down for the 40 series. A considerable amount. At least they have here. Unless you're looking for 4090, to which then well psh, <laughs> No. Here's the thing, I can get a 4080 for the, for cheaper now than I got my thir my 3080 for. I can get a 4080 cheaper than I bought, than the 3080 was paid for. Than what was paid for the 3080. Cheaper. Yeah. How effed up is that? You know, if 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 I had a thousand dollars or uh, eleven $1 hundred dollars to throw at a forty eighty, I probably would. 
One of the new 4080 Supers? I probably would. If anything, for the AV1 encoding, encoding alone, right? I would do it just purely for the AV1 encoder. Because I'll tell you right now, I tried AV1 to encode AV1 last night for for uh, YouTube upload. I can do it if I want to spend 48 hours to freaking AV1 encode because I don't actually have a dedicated uh, AV1 encoder. If I use my CPU or the existing 30 series, it does not, it can do AV1, but it has to use software AV1 encoding, which takes fucking forever. Not boom, it's done. And I'm like, I, I was like, man, this is this is one of those cases where I'm kind of like, you know, just for the encoder alone, it'd be worth it, let alone the gaming performance. Is it boom like done? Listen, a one hour video is going to take almost two days to encode with the CPU or just the GPU as it is for AV1 versus four hours. You tell me. You tell me. That that is almost boom done. That is almost a situation of boom done. When you compare timeline. And you're right, Slider, you are absolutely right. Now, here's the, so, uh, Sleepy, I could sell you that Intel card of my, yeah, no, it wouldn't be worth it. Uh, see, here's the thing, I can get an, I can get one of those Intel graphics cards for, uh, for like, less than $300 here. Thousand? You can get a four, uh, but yeah, no, like that's, that's the other thing. And I like that Amazon disagrees here. I mean, that's kind of a shame that Amazon disagrees. Well, we're now away from our main, main zone. It's a nice little island over there for building. Hmm. Okay, well, we're still... I'm glad I didn't build the fucking canoe. That would have been terrible. 4080, 500, 600? Yeah, like if you if you could get a 4080 for like even 700, I would say it's a good deal. It's another 25% on the total cost. I'm sure in the U.S., so, uh, um, uh, like, for, for you guys, it, that stuff tends to be a lot cheaper. Wow, this is... Holy shit. Uh, wow. This is very pretty in here. Forty eighty five fifty forty eighty for five fifteen. Okay, so here's a question. That's the forty eighty. What is the current? What is the forty eighty super? Because that is the one with the extra VRAM on it. Because I it, yeah, forty eighty. Oh, that's the forty seven. That's still uh, forty seventy. Is that is that the super or the TI or or is that just a forty seventy? Because there, you do got you guys do understand that they're not making 4070s anymore. It is that's vanilla. Yeah, it's going to be from this point on. It is purely 4070 supers only. 30, 30, uh, 1300. All right. Up. Ah, we hit the rock. ROG G4 Strict 4070 OC Edition 700 12 gig GDDR6 Yeah, instead of the 16 gig Which is what's coming with the supers Plus the extra CUDA cores and everything It's going to be a long time until I get in the right spot Financially to get a new desktop 
Are you gonna build your own sleepy or are you going to uh, are you going to um, buy a pre-built and then just possibly upgrade it? Just gonna let that man stay up there. Oh, I can outrow your ass. Now you can try to swim to me. I'm a, I'm a outrow your ass, bud. 4060, 290. I mean, there you go, right? Well bought machines become well aged Frankensteins. Also true. Mine is technically a Frankenstein if I'm if I'm being wholly correct with everyone. Sheesh. This is very... How far inland are we going here? Good God. Bruh. My CPU is five years old. Just need to think ahead. My case... Yeah, that's the downside, though. Your case has got some age to it. Like, it, your case is a little old, dude. Like, even at this point, my case is almost 10 years old. Because I'm using the Corsair, um... Uh... 570X Crystal. Or X... Yeah. 570X Crystal. And it's almost 10 years old at this point. Oh! Whoop! Well, that didn't quite work out. Well, she seems a little narrow in here for the outriggers, boys. I might have to get out and uh, dig. We might have to dig our way out of this. Maybe. Okay, that's fine. When in doubt, cut your way out. Sweet Jesus. Go. Shit. Opa. Ow. Well, that was unexpected. This is full tower. You know what? I don't miss any of the full tower cases. None of them. Not a single one of them. Oh, God damn it. I don't have a choice. It's because I'm wet. I'm wet, chat. So I'm not regaining Sam fast enough. Oh, 
Holy shit! <laughs> Come on, just give me your stuff. Die already. For the love of Jesus. All the things, holy hell. Good lord. <sighs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of made me very, that kind of almost made me nauseated. I was about to say, I, I almost thought we were gonna lose the boat again. Chat, I almost thought well, I was gonna lose the boat over on this side. I'm not, I'm not, no. We're not doing that. No fucking way. Not doing it, man. We're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow, again, we're gonna be checking out um, the demo for Soul, uh, Soul Mask. It is a, it is also a survival style game. Uh, it has a fairly realistic uh, vibe to it, like the, the actual visible, um, Vis like the visuals for it are very, uh, very realistic looking. I was watching some of the, the game, I was watching some gameplay stuff for it today and it was, I was really impressed with it. The building also looks super in depth, which I'm kind of all about. Wow, this is. All right, well, it looks like we might have ourselves a winner over here. Right. Let us begin. Okay, water's pretty deep in here. I wonder. Hmm. Oh. We're good. We're good. This this is fine. Oh, I see the tip of that rock sticking out of the water. I'm like, yo. It's a, that's a rock in the water. All right. So great. I love that. You feel cold. No, I don't. Don't tell me how I feel. You're not my dad. We got skellies coming in from over there. So that's always fun. So we're still in the black forest itself. All right, so. Oh. Okay, so that is, that is a considerably large chunk of island there. Is 
So I'm just trying to uncover some of this coastline before we wrap this up. Folks, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, I'm looking, but just so you guys know, I, 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 I'm sure a lot of you have probably noticed. I haven't been playing a whole lot of simulators. I've kind of gotten back into playing the, the island. No, the island is not moving. I, listen, if there's a moving island out here, I've yet to see it. I need it because we need the Leviathan. I need the bar barnacles. I need that chitin. Gotta build that abyssal freaking harpoon so Sea Serpent and I can fucking wrestle. Want to make that serpent stoop. I want to make the serpent stoop. Uh, but yeah, so... I've gotten back into playing survival games. I hope you guys don't mind. I know that, some, you know, survival games are kind of hit or miss. A lot of people, there are a lot of people out there that love them. There are a lot of just as many people out there who do not enjoy um, survival games. Uh, but that being said, it's it's not that I'm done with simulators. Uh, I'm not done with Star Citizen by any stretch. In fact, uh, Star Citizen is going to be returning very soon because we have a free fly event coming up. So we are going to be diving back into some Star Citizen uh, in the near future here. It's just, I really have been enjoying a lot of these games. Uh, again, it comes down to the variability. My issue with American Truck lately and Euro Truck Simulator 2, same problem, is no, no mod out there allows me to have the variability that I'm looking in for the gameplay. Uh, it's the same with Microsoft Flight Sim, right? There, there is nothing that adds that variability in gameplay that I'm really looking for outside of the weather. Uh, and I want, I want something that's going to challenge me a little bit more, right? Well, that's the thing. I'm looking for something that adds a challenge. Now, racing, racing, racing is a challenge. Racing is, there is definitely a skill set to racing, and racing has a lot of variability in gameplay. I just recently haven't really had an urge to spend a lot of time racing. Again, doesn't mean it's not coming back. It just means for the time being, it's like, you know, it is, it, it's just kind of, it is, it is what it is for the, for the moment. Doesn't mean that we're not going to spend more time with it. It's just, we're not spending time with it now. But yeah, for me, it's just I've really been enjoying the challenge of survival games. Because, in, again, the, the building aspect in a lot of these games has really been pushing my creative side. Where, like, racing, racing, trucking, um, like, flight sim, there, there's no, there's nothing about it that, make, that, that drives creativity, if that makes sense. Okay, so we just... Wow, this looks creepy as fuck, man. Well, we found more... S hey, oh, those are... S Ooh! Look, we got leeches. Dad found more swamp. Dad found more swamp. Oh. The water's so clean here, we can see the leeches. Nope, nope, we're just gonna keep... Pat no, I'm just passing through, bro. Just passing through, bro. Well, that... Hey, there's another crypt over there. Yas. Okay, uh, so... You guys notice I'm just trying to stay out of the reach of the everything. I'm just all there. There's a whole lot of nope in the water right now that I'm just not trying to mess with and American truck and Euro truck would probably do quite well. Uh, well, here's the thing. I don't really know how you'd implement chaos, a uh, chaos tricks for like American truck or Euro truck. It would definitely be easier because they are single player. Uh, but that being said, I have no idea how you would actually do that. Like how that would work. 
Okay, uh, definitely got a lot of swamp over here. Swamp to the right of us. Swamp to the left of us. Swamp in front of us. Uh, why? You know what? We're just gonna speed this trip up a little bit, because I'm like, bruh. Something just, there was a sound in the background there that just made me feel very unpleasant and uncomfortable, and I want no part of it. None whatsoever. Oh, it's... Wait a minute. You know what? No, no, this is this is fine. Hello, leech. I see you down there, you bastard. If you're wondering what I'm trying to do. Uh, this leech could fuck off at any point. No! Shit! Rom Forest! Oh Lord! Jeebus, save me! No, save me, Jeebus. Persistent bastard, isn't he? You sure as fuck are persistent, bud. hell chat we're being haunted this mother trucker is gonna end my ex yeah that's right you want to run it's daylight <laughs> paddle faster <laughs> it's time to mount the rocket launcher holy hell god damn Hans, find the motor. The fuck are those flame things? Those are certlings. Those are certlings. <laughs> and they throw fireballs. Welcome to the actual swamp chat. Welcome to the real swamp. Oh yeah, no, they. Oh yeah, no, they. 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 Uh, they're very angry. Like they throw fire. They're very angry. Oh, they don't do well in water, though. So it's kind of funny that they spawn in the swamp, but they're very territorial, like, super territorial. Shit. Don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it, buddy. No, sir. Yeah, um, so you'd be angry too if you were kind of imprisoned on a little chunk of rock and you couldn't move because if you move, see here's the thing, if you can draw them into the water, they'll burst, in, they'll burst, they'll explode, right? Burst of steam, just psh, and they'll explode. Best part is then you collect certling cores from them. 
Very nice. They cl you collect all the Sertling cores from them. Well, the nice thing is, is this gives, wow, this gives us so much. This, uh, this actually gives Ool and I a considerable amount of things to do on Thursday for stream. Now that she already has experience with the swamp in our, in our private playthrough, she's got experience with the swamp, so. Uh, let's see how far down we can go with this one. To try to speed the. I love that. You are wet. No kidding, sir. You don't say. As we hydroplane our way through here, just like. And no, there's there there is no nibbling here. Okay, no nibbling. No. No nibbles. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Brace! Ah, uh, all right. No, you don't. Shit. Ow. You son of a bitch. How dare you hijack me? Get up here. Fucking fight you now. Get up here. How dare you hijack me, sir? Nope, we out. Dad cleared the obstruction. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear. I swear. All right. Here we go, chat. Right, so tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow, we are going to be jumping in and taking a look at a title called Soul Mask. It is a survival adventure title. It also allows for building community, which I'm kind of looking at. Uh, it is it is a survival game. Uh, it is courtesy of the Steam Next uh, Next Fest, which is uh, and apparently the demo itself, so the game doesn't release until this year, later this year, but the game itself, the demo uh, has roughly 40 hours to it. Now we're just going to have a look at it tomorrow. Uh, Thursday we're going to be joined, so Wednesday we're taking a look at this, this new game called Soul Mask. Uh, Thursday, we're going to be joined by Zaul on stream uh, in Valheim, so it's going to be uh, a little more co-op, more co-op shenanigans. Well, uh, that's foreboding as shit, isn't it? Chat, uh, what do you think? Does does that? Oh, that rock right in the middle. Okay, you know what? That that sucked. My nose is dry and itchy. Uh, that looks very foreboding up there. And fuck, we're freezing. God damn it. Oh no, we are. Ooh. Well, I'm taking damage. Okay, we're not taking damage anymore. Holy shit. It got so cold that I was taking physical damage. Frostbite. Ch chat, dad was getting frostbite.
So, uh, we found more, more of the, uh, good old winter biome. Plenty of, plenty of swamp. So it looks like we're gonna have to set something up over on this side. Man, I just got a new place built, too. Oh, and this looks to be planes up here. I absolutely refuse to build anything in, uh, you could eat another bite. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Yep, this all planes. Oh, we gotta... I want to say, as far as I can, off the coastline here, as to not incur the wrath of a death mosquito. Fuck those things. And while we're doing that, we're gonna noms. Get the food going here, just in case. Yegleth's fingers. Oh, shit. Well, um, holy crap. Yup. Okay, well, that's Yegleth. Yup. Great. So, I already found a place to spawn in Yegleth. Damn it. Son of a bitch. That was, uh, rather unexpected. So that's the plains boss. We haven't even done the- we haven't even done bone mass yet. We already found Yaglith. Or motor. Which is, uh, you know, <clears throat> The, uh, the winter biome. The mountain biome. Okay, so I need to say just far enough off coast to not have to fuck with the death mosquitoes, but Yep. That's for motor. Or not motor, uh Yaglith. Wow. Getting too close to co we're getting a way too close to the coastline. Okay, so we got plains and swamp biome right here too. All right, well that's good to know. Definitely good to know. I'll nibble you. Ooh, don't talk dirty to me like that, Slatter. You might get me all excited. You might get me excited, sir. Holy Hannah. Lot of swamp, plains, definitely mountain. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I think I know where we gotta head to. And I 100% truly hope, I hope, that uh, Zool is uh, prepared for this because we've got our work cut out for us. We have our work cut out for us.
Which is good. That's good. See, the nice thing is, this is really good because this is what I wanted. This is why I like this because this is an absolute challenge, right? The, the sim trucking, and again, no offense to anybody who enjoys that. I do. I've got thousands of hours in both of those. But lately, I've found it's a little dry. There's just nothing challenging about uh, American Truck or Euro Truck, right? Star Citizen, I can do a live aboard challenge, right? So I'm living aboard the ship, right? Literally entire game. See, the thing is, I never... You know the funny thing? In MMOs, I never had a problem about delivery quests. I love delivery quests. I love going from one location to another, right? That's how... Uh, it, that's exactly it. That's how you learned the map, right? That is exactly it. But what I'm saying is, like, with American Truck and Euro Truck, there's nothing challenging about it. This is a challenge, because right now, I, I'm having to navigate the water. I have to navigate with the wind, right? So I have to I have to tack my boat in. I have to keep far enough offshore, right, that I'm not getting nailed because of the planes by freaking death mosquitoes, because they're, like, fucking... They're, they're, they're missiles. They, they are effectively freaking, you know, cruise missiles. So it's like, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a not engaged in that right now, but like there, there is an inherent danger about what I'm doing right now. Like there is 100% a legitimate and inherent danger to how I'm playing that, like, what I'm currently doing and, and how I'm playing the game right now. Like, this is actual risk. Same with playing uh, Star Citizen. There is, even, even if I'm not doing anything illegal, there is risk-reward there. Because there is open PvP. I can be load up and then, and you guys have seen it firsthand, I've loaded up, I've taken off, and then I get freaking tagged as I'm taking off with a load of cargo, right? risk and reward it's a lot more fun but you also have to be more on your toes it makes you more aware but you also have to then get very creative whereas with american truck and euro truck i find again it's just lately it just hasn't had that for me like for american truck we 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 did the uh what was it kansas when it came out and we haven't been back kansas in the christmas thing and we haven't been back since when 1.50 releases, we'll jump back in, like with the with the core update, because I really want to check what they've done. I'm looking forward to the core update. Because it is like it's the game engine update, right? That that is like mate, that's mega. And right now, like this is the other thing too, right? Like I'm currently mapping this entire area that that we're exploring. Because I need the I need the crypts, which I've already seen a couple. So we need the crypts. Oh shit! Oh whoa 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 whoa, sir! Woo! Distracted sailing. Yeah, so I need the crypts because we need the iron. Well, the only way to do that is to explore some of these regions like the swamp and everything and find where they are. So I'm starting to load. There, there are some locations I've already found, which is fantastic because we need those. We can, uh, it's still daytime, daylight, so I can slow down a little bit here. And I'm not, well, we're still wet, but it's not as bad. I say as we end up back deep into the, whoa, sir. Excuse me. Do you fucking mind keeping your arrows to yourself? You bastard.
there is so much going on over here. Look at all of this, man. Holy crap. Yeah, buddy. Black forest, bordering plains, border. What is this? This game is just literally giving me everything. All the biomes on one, again, just like our main continent where we started, but. Oh, this is just absolutely beautiful. All right, we're gonna speed, speed things up a little bit here. Get ourselves trucking along at a, at a, you know, good old pace here. Decent pace. What time is it? It is 6.02 p.m., huh? Oof. I'm gonna have to very soon consider jumping off, because I... Well, we're gonna get back to base first. Before I jump off, that that has to ha oh, really? Yup, had to hit the goddamn rock, didn't we? Damn we. Don't mind dad, dad's drunk. Not really. Just, that requires alcohol to be in the house. Uh, speaking of which, if you would ever like to join dad for a little after dark action, exclamation goals in chat, that'll tell you how we can make that happen. Or exclamation goal. That's right. We're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to try for some what they call what what a lot of streamers are referring to as after dark. Okay. You know, we have we have an alcoholic bevy or two. We play, uh, we play some video games. We have a little bit more of a late night, con like some late night conversations, you know. Ooh, we're cutting this a little close. That troll wants nothing to do with us. I think we're moving too fast. That's why. Troll doesn't like, troll doesn't like speedboats. Fast food. The troll is not about the fast food today, chat. All right. You know what? We're making pretty decent time for home, so. If you're just joining us, welcome. Come on in. Join the shenanigans. Don't be afraid to talk either. Don't don't be afraid to don't be afraid to just chime in and be part of the conversation. So I'll, I'll tell you. Strimmer just talking and nobody responding gets very lonely, but it also gets very boring. Not just for you guys, but for me. This is not this is not riveting conversation at the moment. Remember, chat. Twitch and streaming, live streaming is it, it is a two-way street. Strimmer requires people to have conversations with. I mean, no, I'm actually a one-way street. No butt stuff. Sorry to disappoint you all, but yeah, no butt stuff. One-way street. <laughs> no butt stuff. Oh, God. Mistakes. Oh, we're almost made. Holy crap. That could have been that could have been way worse than it was. Woo. Oh, here we go. Now the fun begins. You know why? Cuz. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. 
I got this now. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. Oh, yeah. There are some decent sized chunks of continent in this spawn. And I'm all about it. This is massive and I love it. Fuck yeah, let's go. Now, I imagine there are probably a lot of people who don't really enjoy the sailing aspect of of Valheim, but I got to be honest with you guys. Sailing is probably one of my one of my top 3 favorite activities to do in Valheim. Always has been a big freaking sailing has always been a big deal for me in 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 this Need more star navigation well the thing is though is How do you navigate by stars in this? Uh, when there are no actual star clusters to navigate by because this would be an unfamiliar night sky People too dumb that's west, but we don't there's this night sky is not a night sky you can navigate by. It's not that people are too dumb. There are people out there who could probably f quite easily do that, but because because of the uh, night sky anywhere is different southern hem hemisphere. I yes, true, but there are no noticeable points. That's what I'm saying, right? Like. There, there's... I can tell time east and... Yeah, well, in real world, yeah, in real life, that, that kind of stuff, you know, you can do... People can do that kind of stuff, but... In video games, generally as a rule, that's not something that most people are capable of doing, right? In Rust 2, they have a sun and stars, dates that shift... Unity ready? Really? I didn't know that. That is interesting. This night sky, so the thing about the night sky in Valheim is it's very it's variable. And by variable I mean uh it does not have the same pattern from night to night. And that's not weather based. Well, yeah, it's Yigdr because you've got Yggdrasil, right? So that's the only constant, but the problem is, is even that uh, can be a little weird. Oh, no, Yggdrasil definitely changes the field, but no, I mean, like, so that star cluster that we're looking at right there, that won't be there the following night in the same location, like at the same bearing. It won't be there at all, even if it's clear. Will not be there. The only thing that's constant in the sky is Yggdrasil. Is the world tree. That's it. That is the only constant. Yeah, that's the yeah, entire galaxy is flaming out one rotation. There you go, right? How freaking crazy would that be? Betel, yeah, Betelgeuse. Betelgeist. It's the Beto guys. Alright, uh, 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 the geist with the meist. The geist with the meist. Right. Tonight is just gonna be a uh, heat up some leftovers kind of night because there's plenty of leftovers in the fridge for lots, lots of noms to eat.
Gots to eat the food that is already cooked. That's all right. All right. Um. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Yeah. No? What do you feel like? <gasps> it's already made. You just gotta heat it up. <laughs> it's like almost no effort. Less than two minutes to heat something up is still no effort. That's the lowest possible effort next to not breathing. <laughs> all right, hold. Oh, 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 okay. No, we missed the rock. All right, all right, all right. No, I would just like to make it bet. There's the man's. Oh, he's. You know what? No, screw that. He's. He, it's fine. He's. He's on the shoreline. He can't do shit. Man's can't do shit. He's on the shoreline right now. Right. So we've got to get back up, cross over here. That's kind of the plan. We'll get back into home port. Azatoa. Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. Happy Tuesday. Uh, Tuesdays here in the arcade are Valheim. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Both days, Valheim. Uh, I tend to, this this has sort of become a regular game because I started a fresh, uh, fresh seed, a fresh character, uh, a brand new set of mods, started right from the very start. Uh, we've got a pretty decent seed. Uh, Weather-wise and, um, you know, loot-wise, so I've been, like, very, very, very happy with the, uh, the overall gameplay. Uh, we've got, currently have Valheim modded for a, a pseudo-RPG experience. Anyway. Do-do-do-do-do-do. We're just on our way. So we've been doing some exploration, needed to open the map up a little bit. Uh, as you can see, we did quite a bit of sailing. Uh, this is where we're heading back to. This up where, up where our home harbor is. I haven't really set anything up for a secondary base just yet, like a true secondary location. But that looks like it's going to be coming very shortly because I do need a location closer to a swamp. Seeing as the uh, swamp locations that I've already had on the on this current spawn down here, down here, and over here have already been checked, and the only one that had a crypt was this single crypt, just one single crypt. So that really wasn't conducive to uh, getting a lot, a whole lot of iron, uh, the uh, the scrap iron, for smelting purposes. So, and again, it is what it is. All right. So let's get our butts underway here. Uh, again, I do want to mention that tomorrow. We are going to be checking out a new title called Soul Mask. It is another survival game. Um, has a very, very realistic look to it. I'm not going to spoil the uh, the way that the game itself starts. Uh, it is currently available if you want to check it out for yourself, though, through uh, Steam Next Fest. It has uh, about 40 hours worth of gameplay in the demo. So we're going to check that out tomorrow. It's and it's just the demo that I'm going to be checking out. The game is slated for a later 2024 release. Uh, no specific date has been announced yet, but so we're going to be checking that out as well tomorrow. Uh, it, so that's going to be replacing and shrouded just for uh, for the next uh, day or so. Next week. 
And as much as I've been enjoying Enshrouded, and I've got, I've really loved my time in it so far, we are going to be jumping back into that eventually. Uh, but next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, we are going to be into Star Citizen. And the reason that we're going to be jumping into Star Citizen is because uh, patch uh, 3.22.1 is going to be released. Next week is also a free fly event. So we're going to be jumping in for the free fly and just, again, I own Star Citizen, but I feel next week spending some time in the verse is good just because it will be a free fly event. So it gives those of you who don't already currently own a copy of Star Citizen a chance to get in, check it out for yourself and, you know, maybe just sort of get into some shenanigans with Twitch Dad. All right, so how far up and around are we? Hey, we're almost, we're uh, just about up at the, we're, we're, we're about up at the tip, chat. We're about up at the tip. All righty. All right, time to claw across that uh, open ocean water. I was kind of hoping that we would have found uh, a Leviathan by now because I need that. I need more chitin, but I haven't been that lucky with that. I guess I'm just going to have to keep my eyes open. Because I really would love to build that abyssal harpoon. Screwing my AT&T internet and sending it back this weekend. Done with them. $90 oh, to 90 to other bill. Wait. Okay, sir. Well, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Did you not just get rid of your internet package to go to them? Because you were like, I'm going to go with a mobile package. Why wouldn't you just stick with a standard internet package, sir? That's what I don't understand. Internet is expensive. You're looking at about $100 for internet service. Roughly $100 for internet service. Especially for high speed. Yeah, exactly. If you're if it's under fifty dollars, you're the product, exactly. That's factual. I mean, that brute's trying to catch us, but... If no fiber, then coax. Yep. It's because, because it's $90 a month that I will use towards other bills, so I'll just use my mobile and tether and no caps. I just don't understand how how you didn't already okay but sir you can't tether every device to your phone though either if you don't game tethering is yeah if you don't game tethering is best 5g can take over most home internet needs that's true but not all devices can tether Well, it is, yeah, but no, again, not all devices allow for proper tethering. You know what I mean? I 
I would never, and, and here's the thing, I'm not even American and I would never use AT&T for internet. I would never ever use, like, I, I even uh, as a non-American, I know the AT&T is shit. Like that's, yeah, good device, smart execution. Well, there's that, right? Yeah, entire home streaming wired, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, if you're just using it for some basic email or just watching like Netflix and shit, then. There are caveats either, either way you look at it though, too. Right of the building has a contract. I'm choosing not to use it. Return the equipment and be done. Wait, you mean the the reason that you're you've been using the 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 shitty internet service that you have is because the building has a contract? That's probably some of the dumbest fucking shit I've ever heard. You can get out of the contract. Uh, they all have. Well, there is that too, right? Like, if you're under a contract, you might end up still ending up paying for the year. So just remember that, sports fan. You might still end up paying for the year to get out if it's a contract. Oh, or you know what I mean, right? Condos literally next door to open DNS HQ. Whoa, that's see, that's not bad. That had FIOS Ethernet in units. Literally next door to open DNS HQ. Holy crap. That see. That's very nice. That was in 09. Damn. All I can say about that is damn. 110 feet to open DNS, I measured it. That's some ping. <laughs> Damn, that is really some ping time. Holy shit. By the way, uh, definitely gonna have to repair the boat too. I mean, we can't, I wasn't, we weren't out for loot anyway. We were just purely out to do some exploration, open up the map a little bit more, which we did. We got, so that is a lot to freaking explore. I can't switch to any other provider. Oof. That's kind of shitty. That is really craptacular. Get a 5G hotspot or use phone. Yeah, and that's, well, that's what, that's what sports fan was saying, right? Five G hotspot solves your tethering issue too. What a five G hotspot, really? Oh, look what we're coming back to. There's a douchebag in our on our fucking on our lawn. Hi, Zool. Welcome back. Up here having a, uh, having a good day so far. So, uh, I hope you're ready, Zool, for Thursday because we've got some exploration to do and it, it it's, might be a little sketchy. I'm just going to warn you now, it might be a little sketchy, okay? Ooh, that was super sketchy, by the way. Holy Hannah.
Get off my lawn. <laughs> I like that. Ooh, that's okay. Yeah. So, um... I went and checked the only crypt I could find, which was down here. Got a lot of iron, but nothing else. But... There is a lot of swamp down here and a lot of plains. So this whole entire side down here is all swamp. And I saw a metric boatload of crypts. So we're going we're going crypt spelunking on on Thursday. Yeah, we're going to that's right, we're going to Shrek Land. See, two slider knows exactly what's what. We're we're heading to Shrek Land. How's your day, Benzul? Nope. Oop. You're cranky today? Uh-oh. Steampunk problems? Uh, right. I forgot I put the wheel a little too close. Okay, that takes care of that. Chat, mom, mom. Chat, can we get hugs? Can we get hugs in chat for mom? Ch channel mom is, is upset, okay? Can, can we, can we give Zul some hugs? Wait, hold on. Let's throw that in there, too. Okay. Put that there. And let's throw that in there. And okay. Better be careful. She says she ain't going to take it out on any of you, but I'm telling you, she, she might take it out on you. takes it if she happens to take it out on you I mean listen you done fucked up that's all there is to it you done fucked up uh, I'm gonna keep the club of fire we're gonna get rid of that um, keep that yes no we'll get rid of that too uh, we'll get rid of that okay keeping the gotta gotta start uh, uh. Shit. There we go. Okay. Um, frigid bronze sword of Alraven we're keeping. The weightless pickaxe of weight. The gladiator's pickaxe of weightlessness we're going to keep. Yes. The sprinting. Okay. The bronze lucky. Oh, okay. That might be worth keeping. Um, fiend ward. Shadow Ward. Um, we're gonna get rid of that. Weightlessness, we're gonna keep that. Artful Dodger, we'll get rid of that. Okay. Um, Omen Guard. That one's indestructible keeping. Um, Weightless, gonna get rid of that. Um, Bronze Axe. Bronze Axe. Gonna keep the magic one though. Um, leather pants. Ooh, see that? Okay, these tower shields, I'm just gonna get rid of. Okay. I break those down for their crafting mats. Gesticules, the father of waving. <laughs> Gesticules. Oh my god. Sacrifice. Okay. Um, wow, we still only have one rare shard? 
Fucking hell. All right, upgrade. Chant. Two carp. All right, you know what? We're going to... I'm going to upgrade this. All right, let's go. Uh, two copper bar. Okay. Two certling cores. Oh, that's three certling cores. Two carb. Okay, so. Okay, we're going to grab the magic dust. Let's just grab all of it. Okay. Really? Okay, well, we'll just throw all of that in there. Keske fuck. Um, pardon moi. Right. Uh, this this is problematic. Why can I not current level locked? We have the copper bar. I have the certling cores. So what I... I don't understand what is happening. You know what? Right. Let's, let's do this. Hold on. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of stuff here. And we're going to see... Grab. Yeah, we'll grab that. That looks like a fair number. Just grab some of this stuff too. Why not? Well, that worked. That worked. Okay. Well, there we go. Now we can actually do not just a, not only do sacrifice, but we can also do upgrade rare uh, material rarity, and we can enchant items. <gasps> okay. I need a magic rune. So why the fuck do I get a magic rune stone? Wait, how? Okay, well, that, that is, okay, you know what, like, um, what if I take all of this stuff in, and we can convert material, right. what does that convert, that converts to rare essence, legendary reagent, huh, Okay, so if I want to upgrade this, all right, let's throw all of this magic, the magic material that is back in here. Okay. Um, so we're going to throw that back in there and that back in there.
Grab those. And I'm just going to grab all the Certling cores. Skeleton trophy, Certling core. Right, so current level unlocked five. Oh, I need a certling trophy now. Holy crap. Well, okay. So that means sacrifice should now officially give us better better goodies. Chitin. Fuck. Bronze. Okay, what about augment? I need three of those. What the? Okay. And I need... Goddamn. All right. Looks like uh, going to be some work to upgrade some of that stuff. You know what? That's fine. That That is, that is perfectly fine. I don't have a problem with putting in a little bit of work. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. How you doing, bud? What do you, why are, what do you mean? Why are you frightened? You shouldn't be frightened. Get wrecked, sir. Your soul is mine. Oh, those buke berries, man. Right, so sacrifice, magic wooden shield. Let's sacrifice to see what we get. We got more goodies, cause that's how this works now. Beautiful, okay. Up we go, uh, up the stairs. So what we're gonna do now is just quickly, quickly. Get downstairs. We're going to check our garden. Okay, there we go. That's working. Oh, probably only because I have freaking... Throw that in there. All right. Let's check our garden. Hey. Uh, where did our... Where did the barley in? Aw, oh, man. Okay, so barley and flax requires you to watch them. Got it. Okay. So, good to know. Actually, good to know. Well, now that I know that, that's sort of a shame, though, too, because that means that now I've got to wait until we get back to the plains in order to find more of that stuff. All right, here we go. Yep. We go behave, behave. Give me all your stuff. Right. Ugh. I gotta find a different place for the grinding stone there, by the way. Um, okay, so the turnip seeds and the onion seeds. Lots of onion seeds, lots of turnip seeds, lots of carrot seeds. Okay, that's good to see. Um, definitely got to start painting. Oh, come on. Really with the weather? 
Yep. Bruh. Okay, well, it, you know what? That's fine. That is fine. You know why that's fine? You know why that's fine? Because chat, this is where we're gonna, uh, this is where I am going to call it for the night. It is currently 6.41 p.m. my time, and it is time to get my butt up off of here. And, uh, you know, go, uh... Is live. Heather Silvermist, thank you for the raid. We're just wrapping up, but that's okay, because you can come with us. All of you can come with us. Heather Silvermist, I hope you had a wonderful stream. What were you streaming? You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Swamp. I mean, listen, Star Tech Gaming, Heather Silvermist. Yeah, so we're, I'm just wrapping up. Swamp. A little bit of swamp, huh? Hey, uh, we were in the swamp today. We survived. You were in the swamp a bit? Yeah, I was so... You know what? Hold on. Uh, just before we, uh, before we go here, I'll actually show you guys, uh, what... Where we are. Oh, the swamp is gross. The worst part is, is your stamina regen is absolutely crap, right? So this is, this is currently what I have located on the seed because this is a fresh seed that I started uh, strictly for this. So we have swamp here. I have a swamp base, right? Swamp here and swamp here. We've got plains, plains, mountain, mountain, mountain. So black forest, lots of mountain, lots of swamp, lots of plains, lots of all of this, but only one single crypt. One. Already done the Elder, already done Ikethir as bosses. They're already complete and out of the way. Now I need, yeah. Now I need to uh, find well, Bone Mass, right? So one single crypt out of all the swamp that was on this. And this this is where this is where our base is. This is where I where I'm currently located. But as you can see, like it's it's a sizable chunk of map, right? Even if I zoom out. That's all I've discovered so far, but fairly large, chunky piece of continent. Well, Thursday, when I come back into this, I'm going to be joined by my uh, by my partner in crime, Zaul. She's going to be joining, uh, joining me on Thursday. And we need to come down into here. And we're going to start down with this part of swamp across from here. Uh, as we're going through the crypts, because I would like to unlock bone mass and do the the bone mass fight. Also, need the iron scrap. But that being said, uh, we're gonna go find somebody to raid. All right, uh, time to log out. Yeah, you're at the same place. Going to a crypt on Thursday. Nice. Yeah. So I did the first crypt today. Uh, and again, this isn't my first time through. I've got like almost 500 hours in Valheim, so I've, I've, I've played it a little bit. Uh, my my partner, on, a, on the other hand, uh, she's still fairly new to the game. I think she might have about 25 hours in, maybe 30 hours total. So she's pretty new to this. This is your first time through. Are you enjoying it, though? That's the real important part, Heather. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, about 25 years. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean about 25 years ago? You mean about 25? Oh, you mean about 25 hours? I'm like, what do you mean 25 years? That is a bit of a typo. <laughs> Goddamn autocorrect. I have a friend who will be playing with me. He's been playing through lots. I'm. You know what? I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I'm glad that you are enjoying Valheim. It is. It is a fantastic game. Um, the one thing I've actually found in my time with it that it. There are a lot of quality of life mods that really do improve the entire experience and make it play more, quite more along the lines of an RPG. And that's currently how I've been playing it. Um, actually, I will, just in case anybody is interested, I will provide a link to the mod pack that I've actually been, yours mod, unmodded. There's nothing wrong with trying it first time unmodded, but that is the, the mods that I use are from that mod pack right there. Uh, I've kind of picked and choose because I'm not running like a hundred people, like a hundred person RPG style server. 
So, but all of the mods that I actually use are off of that list. So, if anybody wants to check that out for themselves. I'm on Xbox. Yeah, so StarTech, that's the downside, right? Like, mods... <sighs> mods don't work for the Xbox, unfortunately. And that, you know, that's a shame because there are games out there that you can mod. Um, perfect example. SnowRunner. SnowRunner. You know, you, you can run mods on the console version of SnowRunner. Um, farming Simulator, same thing. You can run mods on, on Farming Sim for, for the consoles. But I understand some games don't, you know, because they don't have a, a built-in uh, mod shop like some of the like SnowRunner and uh, and Farm Sim do, but it is what it is. Anyway, chat. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for dropping by. My farming sim is mod. Yeah, see, th that's what I mean. I know. By the way, we gotta we gotta get you into some farm sim there, Zool. But Zool, that she's she's my partner. She's my partner in crime. She's my game and partner in crime. She's going to get me into trouble. Program. Hopefully I say this correctly. Maddenhar, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Some games do have mods like SnowRunner, Farm Sim, Fallout 4, Skyrim. Yes, yeah, Skyrim. Space Enjoy Engineers, yeah. ScarTech Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, just for those of you who are new and just throwing down those follows, by the way, they are truly appreciated. Uh, I tend to, I, I'm kind of a variety streamer. I do enjoy survival games. Uh, Valheim, we've been playing a lot of Enshrouded lately. Tomorrow, we're going to be checking a brand new game out called Soul Mask. It's part of Steam's Next Fest. There is a demo currently available through Steam right now that gives you about 40 hours of gameplay. Um, I have some information regarding that one, but I'm I'm keeping it under my hat and under wraps until the stream tomorrow because it it's got a very unique spin on things. So I'm I'm kind of looking forward to that one. Soul Mask, it's a fishing game. Soul Mask, you bastard! Listen here. Two don't don't believe it's two slider. He, he's he's a jokester. I'm waiting for Lightyear Frontier and Small Land. Yeah, so Lightyear Frontier and like Small Land, I've eh, kind of, kind of been watching those, but I'm um, looking forward to Soul Mask. Uh, Thursday will be more Valheim with the Ool, and then Friday we're going to be jumping back into some Star Citizen again. I kind of like I like some survival stuff, but I do have a penchant for simulators, trucking sims, flight sims, space sims, and racing simulators as well. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate the hell out of you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for bringing by your community. Uh, as I said, we're going to go and see if I can find somebody to send you all over to show a little bit further love on this wonderful platform called Twitch. So I'm going to see who I got currently in my my followed list to see who we can find. Uh, hmm. You know, I'm going to send you guys over to DJ. DJ Knight is a friend of the community. He's a wonderful human being. He is super friendly, very entertaining. So we're going to go raid DJ. Uh, he's been messing around with Power World lately, and I understand Power World might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I highly recommend just watching him purely for the entertainment. He he loves a great conversation. He's willing to answer questions, and again, he has a very friendly community. So go show DJ Knight a little bit of love. I'll catch you all back here tomorrow for Soul Mask. Love your faces. Have a wonderful Tuesday night, everyone. Cheers.